You want sports? We got sports for you right here, Woodward Sport. I'm never late. I'm always on time. Oh. When have I ever watched him? I want wings and pizza. <laughs> Is wings and pizza? I want wings and pizza. Yeah. I played with that gorilla. You hear me? Okay. You have a Tesla. You float here. <laughs> <laughs> What up, Dope? What up, Dope? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Tuesday here on Woodward Sports. So glad you could join us. Uh, he's Joyke Bell. I'm Sean Belegian. And it's not just any Tuesday, Joyke. It's a... Transformation Tuesday. Yeah. Transformation. You know, we're coming in, and Sean is transforming from wearing his sneakers to open flip-flops. Toes out. Shades on. Hollywood Sean. <laughs> On time. You sell it. I don't sell it. You do sell it. No, I don't. You do. Sean, it's all about confidence. It's, it's all about confidence. That's it. You got it. Zoom in on it. Look at that. Look at that, man. The, the chest hair is out. He's not looking at you, but you can tell he's staring you in the face. Did you see that? I blinded everybody with my pale whiteness. Look at that. No, no, you blinded everybody Absolutely with that chain. pale whiteness. You, no, no, you blinded him with that chain with that. You know what? What the kids used to say back in and back in your day, bling bling. Is that bling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always got the Lord around my neck. I know what's up. I know the score. Are you kidding me? Hmm. How you doing? You have a good weekend? It was a good weekend. It was a good Did weekend. Did you do anything? Yeah, so other than well you me and art went to a game more on that in a minute okay. yeah more on that in a minute so aside from that game i uh, went to the dia with baby girl and we went walk well we were strolling around because i can't let her out because she'll run around and touch stuff and so she begged to get out of that stroller and i said daddy don't have the money to pay for anything you break or touch in here so we're just going to keep you in here we're going to ride uh, but she liked the elevators <laughs> there's a lot of paintings that she was um not too sure about, but you know, we keep taking her. Still get culture. You know what's funny? I have been to the DIA in about ten years, and I, you're gonna find this out as well. It, it's I, every day I drive by the zoo, right? Yeah. Same thing. I've been to the zoo in about ten years. My kids just didn't want to go anymore, and I'm kind of like I'm kind of hoping my son's coming home for like three weeks, um, mm -hmm. uh, late June, early July, and then he has to. He's gonna be gone out in LA for a long time. Which is, dad's going to start crying thinking about it. Um, but uh, there are a lot of things like that, that you, you just brought that up. That's one of the things, like I thought to myself, I want to do a lot of stuff we used to do right. that we haven't done in a long time. I want to go to the DIA. I mean, it's great down there. It's great. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It really the is. Thing is. The thing is, though, you have to, <laughs> I made the mistake of going down there probably two weeks ago. And I didn't have have a reservation, and they have you have to do a reservation. Now it's free, but still you have to make a reservation. Yeah. It was good. It was a good time. It was a good time. So uh, it's gonna be something we're gonna continue. Is Daddy do. Daughter Day? Yeah, Daddy can't Daughter Day. Can't beat it. Cannot, cannot beat put it. cannot put a price tag on it. Good can't, for you, man. Can't, can't beat it. That's so, absolutely beautiful. You know, it was something that I needed, especially after me and you all went to the game. We got kind of riled up. So uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more. <laughs> So, yeah, in case you missed it, Art Joyke and I went to a baseball game. Uh, uh, Art, do you have the video of that, of all three of us going to the baseball game? Uh, by the way, here you go. There you go. So that's me trying to get some of Art cotton kind of candy, and he's telling me no. And I have on a mask right now because I didn't want people to know that I was hanging out with Art. <laughs> and Sean with a, Sean's in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Let me. I'm gonna give it one more go. I'm gonna give it one more go. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it one more go. <laughs> that, uh, look at Art. Look at. Hold on. Hold on. Watch Art with the little. 
<laughs> you sent that video Saturday night. Yeah. I was laughing my butt off. That is so great. Oh, that poor God. old dude. Now, do you understand? I just want to watch a game. You want to watch it? I just want to watch the game. I, do you think that was their dad? I, you know what it reminded me? I told Joyk, I don't, did you guys ever play the game Gotcha Last? Anybody? Because like I said it to some of the youngins in here, and they kind of looked at me like, what are you talking about? We used to play this game in the backseat called Gotcha Last, where at first it just was a game for us, but then we saw how much it agitated my father. Mm. So then it became, it was, we would just look at each other. We didn't have to say anything. Like Dan would look at me, I'd look at him, and we'd kind of yeah. give each other the wink. And we'd start doing what's called gotcha last. So, so what, like, what is that exactly? All right. So basically, I'm on one side of the back seat of the car. My brother Dan's on the other side. And my brother Andy's in the middle. And we poke at each other. And so I poke at Dan and I go, gotcha last. And so his turn is to go, gotcha last. And then you, you move as far, as far away as you can. But you're only going to move so far in the car, right? Mm -hmm. So he's eventually going to get you. And we would do this. And it, the funniest thing was watching my dad. It was a, the slow eruption. Because like like you you could see the head starting to shake a little bit, and then his eyes would go in the rearview mirror, and we'd see his eyes, and he just he'd give that death stare, and so my brother my brother and I would would just go like that, and then after about probably seven to ten minutes, the explosion would happen, and it and he wouldn't swear in front of us, which made it even funnier. He would not the man. Tell I did me what, give, I give us one phrase he was saying instead of curse. He would say the beginning of words, like shit, fa, de, shit, but he would never say the word. And, and so, like, it was our, we need to get dad to swear him. He wouldn't do it. Wouldn't he do it. would not do it. And so, like, after he would, and then he'd show the backhand, like, as he's driving, you just see the backhand, like, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. And so we'd quiet down for a second, and we'd act like pristine angels, and then it was... Got your last, got your last, got your last. And then he would really explode. Just wait, just wait. Eventually, I'm going to put the car in park. And when I put the car in park, he'll be sorry. And we're crying. We're sitting in the... So as soon as he put the car in park, those doors would open and Dan and I would scatter. It was great. <laughs> it was awesome. But what did he put it in park when you got home? Yeah, we, we, if we were going we were going to grandma's house, going going home or whatever, he put the car so in So you ever got a whooping growing up? Oh, gosh. My dad was a police officer, so yeah, yeah I got a, yeah, I got, got, a few. got a handful. Yeah, my yeah. Well, you know what? The, the, the funny thing is, you know, I like to chirp. I think everybody knows that. I kind of got to the point, I remember, in my early teens where the inevitable was coming, so I had to get my pound of flesh. And I'm like, well, I'm going to get it. At least I can get my verbal shots in. You got to get it and in. And so then my dad's favorite quote was, like, he, he'd get so mad and he'd go, you don't know when to shut up. You don't know how to shut up. And that was, that was like, like, that was my, once I did that, I was like, okay, now I can take my beating. I was, yeah, I, I, I'm going to make it worth my time, right? If it's coming, it's coming. I, I got to get my shots in. It's, so It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. There's no way around it. It's, it's funny you say uh, your, your father was a police officer, so you got it. Because mine was two and, oh, yeah, every Sunday after church. I, and you know what? I did some. I did some every Sunday. Openly admit, I deserved them ninety nine point nine percent of the time. Open, openly admit it. Not not horrible things. It just a lot of times it was my my mouth. My, I just I chirp at my parents and piss them off. I have a question for you. Did you yeah. ever did your <laughs> did your father ever say that you're going to get a whooping when you got home and you got home you didn't get it? No, he he followed. He followed through. He followed. Hey, I got so many whoopings. Dad followed they just, through. <laughs> they added up so much that he just forgot. What well, I'm whooping you for? <laughs> I forget it. <laughs> I forget it. <laughs> the debt was so high. Yeah, he, I, think, I don't even know which one I'm giving him one I mean, for. I used to get so many whoopings that he would whoop me and say, this is for what you're going to do later. And so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Tammy said, we need a Woodward Sports uh, meetup at Comerica and watch a game. Now that the arena is open to everybody. That's a great idea. I'd love to do something like that. I love going down to the park. I was talking to one of the guys here today, and he was going down to the park tomorrow. I, I love going a day, down there. A day like this would be perfect. Oh. Clouds out, nice weather, I, I good love breeze. going down there. Absolutely. Art, would you go to a ball game? Did you go to Tiger? I know you didn't play catch growing up, but did, did you go to Tiger games when you were a young man? Uh, I've never been to Comerica Park like inside. 
Just sad. Just sad. Just sad. I, just, we can move on to another segment or something. No, <laughs> it's, just, it's weird. Like, You've never been to a Tiger game? No, I've never. No, I've, I've walked. Like, so that's uh, why you wanted to go to opening day so badly. Yeah. So you've ne- was, you've ne- you've never physically been like Tiger Stadium. I've been on the outside of Tiger Stadium, but never inside. No. I'm taking you to a game this summer. No, gotcha. don't no, don't don't no 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 no. Did yeah, I come really about through to be with us. what I promise you? We're really about to do that. We're yes. Really, we're about, and we're going to get the seats right in back of the I, no right in back of the catcher. We're going to do it. Art, that breaks my heart. Sawyer, go hug Art. Art, he needs it. Sawyer doesn't know how to hug. He doesn't. He's not a bear Sawyer hug. Sawyer knows how to kill. I don't know. Sawyer, can you, can you bear hug? <laughs> Sawyer can bear hug. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Got the reach of a bald eagle. <laughs> Are you all right, Sean? Sean? Another day here at Wolver Sports on the Legion of Bell Show. I'm just, are you just running through a field? Ah! Here comes Sawyer. <laughs> just picking you <laughs> up with his tail. <laughs> just chasing me down a flag. He's got an American flag on him. <laughs> oh my God. You can't do shit like right that. Here we go. Take it off. So here we go. Northwestern Tech. Start a new career in the industry that is always essential to learn more. Go to northwesterntech.edu. Um, more to come to you, NBA Finals. We want to run down on that. Sean Belizean, Joy Bell, Arthur Smith. Stay tuned. Wolver Sports. Hi, I'm David Hall from Hall Financial. And at Hall Financial, we treat our clients like family. And our number one priority is giving each of our clients five-star service. Our passion for five-star service, combined with our expertise, allows us to find the best possible solution for refinancing your home loan. We take the time to focus on both the individual and the numbers. We're going to walk you through the process and close your loan in half the time of our competition. Go to davidhallmortgage.com today. No, Art, I'm sorry. I'm not letting this go. We'll move on to other things. Yeah. All right. So you never went went to a Tiger game? No, I've never been to a Tigers game. How many times do I have to say it? Okay. Have you ever been to a Wings game? Uh, One. Pistons? I uh, won. The one that I took you to? Uh, that was my second one. Okay. Uh, what about at LCA? Uh, no, that was my first Pistons game at LCA. Okay. What about the Lions? I watched Brett Favre when he played for the Vikings. It was his last game uh, when he faced the Lions. Uh, so that was pretty cool. But, yeah, just one at Ford Field, obviously. That's where the Lions play. Good job. Good job. Sports! Arthur, Good job, Arthur. Arthur um, I, I had season tickets for many years, and, and unfortunately, I got rid of the season tickets, and now I'm sad I got rid of the season tickets because, like, my daughter wants to go once in a while, right? right. And, and it wasn't enough to keep getting it. My wife is like, I'm not going. We always go, like, as a family one time a year, just say, hey, we did it, you know, family. Yeah. Now I wish I kept the tickets because I would take you, Art. To is season tickets for the Lions? For the Tigers. Oh, for the Tigers? Yeah. You know, oh, Drew from the Drew and Mike podcast uh, said that Kennedy and I could use his suite tickets whatever, and whenever we want. Here's the problem, though, and don't tell Kennedy, obviously. I'd rather go with Drew than Kennedy. I mean, let's be, you know, it's a nice gesture, but yeah. he's been up there, those Champion Club tickets. Yeah. They're well, unbelievable. Well, when my dad was working for another radio station, the ticket, he always, like, Kennedy, had- go and fish his booth. Sorry. Okay. I have to yell, otherwise I get yelled at. I learned that today. So, Sorry, Kennedy. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but, you know, we got to make sure that we're being great. Kennedy and not needs to, Kennedy yeah, we're needs great. to tell this story. Okay. I don't need to hear art. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what was I even talking about? Oh, well, when my dad was a sales manager at the ticket, he always had clients that he always had to have in, like, all types of suites. So I was always posted up with a bunch of people way older than me as a child. And I was probably so annoying in the suites, and they were probably trying to have a good time. And I was just sitting at the buffet. <laughs> so I've been in I've been in the suites. We've got to move we've got to move your camera down because you look like a hobbit right now. You know now. what's funny? Yeah. I, I, I've always uh, appreciated Drew for this. You mentioned Drew. Drew shared the seats with a mutual friend of ours, Matt Riley, who was also really good friends with Tom Kowalski. You know, who was my radio partner. And they knew how much my son loved the Tigers. So every year, 
right around my son's birthday, mm. uh, magically four tickets would appear um, at the radio station for me to take my son for his birthday and my family. Oh. And I, I mean, I always thought that was like, Drew's such a good dude yeah. and legend and everything. And then when Tom passed, they still continued to do it. Like Matt, Matt would, I, he would, about two weeks before my son's birthday, there would be tickets that came in the mail and he would send the tickets in my mail. And he goes, I know Tom would do it if he was still here. He can't beat it. So that, like my son got really spoiled, like right around his birthday every year, we take him up into those suites and everything. And uh, that, so that was, that was always classy. Thank you, Drew. Um, the, but that, man. Those, are the, those champion club tickets are, it's, it's awesome. Now, don't get me wrong. I know this is gonna sound crazy. Give me my choice. Where would I rather be? I'd rather be in seats. It's nice to do every now and again. Like it's nice to go and and Kennedy, like the the food that they have up there. It's, I mean, it's like a five course freaking meal. I mean, it's 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 awesome. But that's nice to do every now and again. I yeah. like to, I like to be in seats. I'm. I, Why is that though? I'm a fan. I like to have I have, like to have my my hot dog. I like to spill mustard on my shirt. I like to. You know what I mean? I, Who yeah, came I, up with this tradition? I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I I. I you can't change what I guess you, you are. You just so you want to be down there in the action. You want to be down there on a foul ball. They have to yeah, catch a foul I, ball. you know what? There, there. Like when my son and I went a few weeks ago when he was home for my father's funeral. Um, you know that was. I think I told you that was one of the things. I I didn't want him to come home and just. Wow, this is the worst reason to come home. I'm coming home for my grandpa's funeral. So, the day after the funeral, we uh, the Tigers were home. I said, let's go to the ball game, and so we were able to go to the ball game. It was great. It just he and I. I got to buy him his first beer at a ball game. Mm. How do you you don't put a price tag on that? Yeah. So I would buy Art his first beer at a ball game too. But what do you do at baseball yeah, games other than punch. be as bored as possible? <laughs> You're never going with me I'm to sorry. a game now. I'm sorry. Forget that. No, a day away from the kids would be I'm, great. No, no, but, no. Listen, Art. You know? Listen, Art. I see what Art is saying. If I was at home watching a baseball game on TV, it can be kind of slow. It can. It can be kind of slow. But going to the game and sitting in the seats and being there is totally different from watching it on TV. Wait, here's my thing. What if, you don't, it, what if you don't drink? Like, I don't drink. I don't drink, and I enjoy myself. I never – when I go to the game – here, I'll give you an example. I'm going in a few weeks. Uh, my buddies are coming into town for our poker weekend, right? And we, we play poker – like 72 straight hours. Like, I'm, I told you this. Don't shake your I head know, at me. I know, but here's the thing. You bring up your buddies all the time. My buddies and I are playing poker. And we're going to talk about this towards the end of the show. My buddies and I are going to see Halloween Kills. That's weird. My name isn't Buddies. My name's Art. But I don't get included. I'm just the work friend. You always it. include it, Art. No. No. It's just that attitude right there. I know. Believe you know, me, you know I what do it is? all the time. Hey, I need you to be a bottle of water, not a bottle of soda. I'm a bottle of salt and vinegar right now. No. <laughs> I need you to be a bottle of water, not a bottle I'm that, of I'm that of pocky pop. chip right now. I'm hot. Do you say pop or soda? Because I say pop. But, I, think, I say pop, too. Okay. It's like Bally Harbor, it's though, way. so if you said soda, it makes sense because that's Indiana. Is it really? No, yeah, Baton Harbor, Indiana. Oh, yeah, that's no, right. But no, I meant, is that, is, that, is that, do they so say soda out there? No, they I say know pop. Some areas like down south and on yeah. the west coast. Pop's now, a Midwest thing. Soda that's, too. that's the Midwest thing. We say pop. And then it's like, I think, I, I, I could be wrong. I think East Coast, they might say soda pop. I could be wrong. Yeah. Uh, well, that's just like Devil's Night. Like, Devil's Night is strictly a Michigan thing. It's kind of a Midwest thing, but it's, it's gone Mich now. So, I mean, it's. it's, what? it's no, it's, Devil's Night is yeah. still a thing. What? No, Devil's it's, Night? Yeah. I don't hear anybody talk about it anymore. You're not what is supposed that? to hear about it. What is that? <laughs> See? There, Devil's De Night. Yeah. Okay, Devil's Night. When I was a kid, was you went out the night before Thanksgiving, or the night before Thanksgiving, Halloween. The night before Halloween, and you soaked windows and you played pranks on people. And then, unfortunately, Devil's Night in Detroit, in particular, turned into a night arson where <laughs> idiots went out and decided they were going to burn things, and and arson became a big problem. So in in the eighties and into the nineties. Devil's Night was a big thing to the point where they completely changed the name of it, you know, to try to, and they called it Angel's Night. And then what Detroit did is they mounted up and they had like neighborhood watch, like people driving around in cars on, on the night before Halloween to make sure that idiots didn't set fire to things and stuff like that. And it was kind of a natural phenomenon and another reason that people poke fun at, at Detroit. It was. It was, it was, it was big for a while. And then it just kind of went away. 
Yeah, yeah. I think people got smart and said, hey, it really doesn't make sense so to devil, burn so, shit down. So Devil's Night kind of like Freddy Krueger when people started to forget about him. He lost his power. So that's kind of what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's and, a, the, and the more people talk about that's it, the more That's a good analogy. Comes back. Yeah. Okay. But somebody said, now I want to get back to this. Somebody said, Art just lost, uh, messed up his season pass with Sean. No, Art, I'm going to take you. I, I thought you said not going to take me anymore. You can't go with my group of, of friends, though. That's I, our time. Sean, so I'm not invited? That weekend, nobody's invited. That's our time. We never see each other but one time a year. That's, and that's our not what time. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about me and your Art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, what I'm talking yeah. about. I'll, I'll get tickets. Don't worry about that. I'm not inviting. That's okay. So I have one friend that comes from, like, Arkansas. One friend that comes from Chicago. We see each other once a year. And that's, like, that's our time. And I get that. Do you know how far Holly is from here? 30 minutes. 40 minutes, okay? And to Sean's house, it's like three days I had to walk there. Did it really? I thought you weren't that far away. No, from I'm like an hour away from you. Really? Yeah, no. now don't, we're further apart. Don't, <laughs> don't you just shoot down like 96? I don't know. I use 75. Google Maps like every millennial. 75. I don't even know how to get home from here, and I've been doing this for six Which months. Which way did you take? If you took 75 to get to my house, I'll laugh my Listen, ass off. Listen, that's, that's the key. 75. That's why Art is always getting yelled at. No, no, that's why Art is always getting yelled at, because he still uses Google Maps to get home from here, because he just can't take direction. Yep. Art, if you jumped on 20, from Holly 23 to, like, 96, Listen. it's not far Listen, enough. Listen, I'm dyslexic. You're saying numbers and figures. I don't even know what that means. You take 23 to the robot frequency to the... I don't know. the power of joy. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Oh, that's that's Art cracking under pressure. Oh, okay. that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Jeez, Art. <laughs> yeah, it, it, but Art, no, seriously, I'll, I'll take it to the Tiger game. What, what do you do? You know what? I just enjoy, Some people watch a game. I, enjoy, I watch the game. When I watch games, I kind of go into another world, and I just watch the game. But, like, when I'm there with my son, we just, you know what we do? We talk about life. It was great. We talked about a thousand mm -hmm. things when we went to the game last month. And, you know, he, he told me, you know, about what's going on. And at the time, we didn't know that he was getting into this thing that he's getting into, which is really cool. We can't talk about it? I don't know if he wants me to. He got, he got into, the, like, this, um, as a proud dad, I'll say this. He got into this exclusive thing that I didn't think he was going to get into and he didn't think he was going to get into and he got into it it's pretty cool Dang. so I'm, I'm really oh thank you that's very nice no, no. Um, so at the time we were talking about we were truth be told we were both under the assumption that he wouldn't get into this thing so we were kind of plotting out other paths to get to where he wants to get to Right. and uh, then something happened and he got into it it's pretty cool look at that so yeah, when he do it I'm proud of him. He's a, he's a good kid. He takes after his mother. That's for sure. All right. Uh, listen, we'll get into the playoff action as well. Uh, we'll plan our Tiger date. I'm going to look at the Tiger schedule. And I'll, the tickets are on me, fellas. Tickets and ladies. Wait, hang on. Are you, Joik's going to be there? Yeah, I'm going to come. Sean is going to sit between us. If I have to hear, you know what's worse than watching the Tigers suck? Listening to Joik talk about crypto for nine innings. Nine innings. Well, that's why we need to bring Kennedy because Ken Kennedy can just start talking about Bessie or Bestie or whatever the term is. You can't fit a Tesla in Tigers where we're sitting at. He could, he could like land though, like, like a hovercraft and just land in Comerica Park just, itself. And he doesn't want him to be talking about crypto, and I don't want to bring around negativity the whole time talking about what I can't do in life. I don't, I don't want to hear that. Right. Yeah. Well, we all know you can't show up on time. Let's go to break. Uh, Ouch. 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 Hey, 8 Mile Vodka was born in Detroit and is distilled in single 90 liter, liter batches to allow for optimal quality control and care, then carbon filtered, aerated, bottled at the perfect time to produce a subtle taste with a smooth finish and a character all its own. It's an exceptional premium vodka that can be chilled and enjoyed straight or mixed to create an exceptional cocktail. Now, the next time you're out, ask your bartender for an 8 Mile Vodka or pick up a bottle at Meyer. As always, drink responsibly. Great time of year. Lots of playoff action every night. We'll get into some of it next. He's Joy Bell. I'm Sean Belegian. This is Woodward Sports.
Hey guys, I'm DMAC. Hey guys, I'm Pilar. That was a little slow. All right. Hi, I'm DMAC. I wasn't ready. I was doing this. Hi, I'm DMAC. <laughs> hey, I'm Pilar. I'm Maz. You're lit. Hi, I'm DMAC. <laughs> I'm Pilar. <laughs> I'm Maz. We suck. You Pat. suck. Catch us Monday to Friday, 3 to 5. Every day, right here on The Hook. On Woodward Sports Network. Brian said, hey, Art, mix in some, I don't know what this word is, ways? What is ways? It's a map that you can use so if you get pulled over by the cop. I'm going to tell you, if, if I could, before we get into actual sports content, I've had a crack in my windshield that goes all the way across for a month and a half now. $800 to fix a windshield? I don't have $800, so I'm waiting to get pulled over with a fix-it ticket. But here's the thing. How long can you go in a fix-it ticket before you have to fix it? Like, I didn't know fix-it tickets were a thing, but I guess in Michigan they are, and they give you, like, X amount of time. Like, then can we start a GoFundMe or something? $800. Usually, all right, so what? What? it depends. What, what? What is the ticket? Do you mind me asking? Well, I haven't gotten a ticket, but I got pulled over last week because I was no turn on red, and I told him, I'm Art from Woodward Sports. Who the hell are you? And he said, oh, you know Chad Johnson? I said, yeah. He's like, and the cop gave me 50 bucks, okay? So then now I'm like, if the same cop pulls me over... What am I going to do? It's an $800 windshield. But the fix-it ticket, they give you like 30 days, right? I'm saying I'm looking into the future. This is why I got fucking anxiety because I'm thinking about... I haven't even got pulled over for it yet. But when you get it pulled over for a fix-it ticket, how long is what it? What place are you taking it? where it costs you $800 no, so to fix your windshield. windshield. It well, it's, it's got money. the sensor in it, and they said that the sensor is so I don't get into a car accident, and they have to adjust and calibrate the sensor. Are I you feel serious? like I'm getting shafted. Bullshit! What? I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you take it for a second opinion? I Yeah, I called a couple places, and one was 400 but they won't calibrate the sensor, and I said, okay, I don't need the sensor, but then my insurance is telling me that I need the sensor. So What's point. the deal with the sensors? Like, I don't know what the hell to do. And Tesla's, when you injure your car, it fixes itself. <laughs> I need that. Joey, can we switch? I've got a 2020 Kia Forte that will blow your mind. What do you think, Joy? Did she catch the Bucks game last night? <laughs> Did she catch the Bucks in that? I, I, I didn't. I, 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 did, but I didn't. I, I yeah. was watching another game. Oh, yeah. It was a good. It was a good game. Not at all. Too They're much. gonna get swept. Too much. They're gonna get swept. Yeah. Too much. The playoffs this year. I mean, it's. I mean, the way he did Giannis right here. I mean, uh, crossing back over, hand up, uh, uh, get off me, with the end one. I don't know how that was a foul. I don't know what a foul was, but he got a foul on that play. I don't know what a foul was, but KD finished the game with 32 points. Leading this team to another victory, to another. Uh, I don't see Milwaukee winning a game. Not you know what's interesting, Joy, is and, and Terry Foster has has talked about this. I think a lot of people have this sentiment, and and, and you know, every time I say this, I, I've always felt that there is like this redheaded stepchild mentality about NBA fans and NHL fans, and you know why? Because right. we know we're we know we're behind the other guys. We know we're behind football. And we know we're behind um, baseball. So I think people, um, it, as you're fighting for that scrap on the, on the corner of the plate of the table, I, I, I think sometimes if I say something like this, people go, well, you're a hockey fan or whatever. I was surprised to hear so many people, and Terry Foster brought it up, so many people are, are kind of tired of some of these series being exactly what you just said, like chalk. Yeah. Like What you expected. Yeah, like, like. No, I'll tell you one. I'll tell you what I didn't expect. I didn't think the Phoenix were going to beat the Lakers. Um, neither nah, did I. No, nah, I didn't think that. Mm -mm. But they're going to walk. I'm, Denver might win one game. They might, they might win one game. It might be game three. They might win that game, and then they'll come back and win game five. The Phoenix, the Suns will come back and win game five. Um, the next are probably going to sweep um, the Bucks. I, just, I mean, even after Harden left in the I first quarter. I think so. I, I. I think so. They couldn't do anything with them when Harden left in the first quarter. So imagine when Harden comes back. It's no opportunity. What's up, Harden? Can we talk about how great Blake Griffin is with the Nets? It's incredible. It's a whole new manner. Look at that. It was awesome. When, when he did that with Detroit, yeah. whoo, he killed it with Detroit, man. I mean, legend. 
I don't understand why everyone... Oh, wait. No one bought a Blake Griffin jersey, so that's why we're not burning them. That pisses me off, the fact yeah. that in Detroit, he didn't pull any of that shit. You know he, why? He I, goes I'm gonna to Brooklyn. I'm going to tell you what happened when he got to Brooklyn. Who was the man here in Detroit? Huh? Who was the man when he played here in Detroit? Who was the guy? Huh? Blake Griffin was our guy here. He goes to the Nets. He doesn't have to be the guy. You got KD, you got James Harden, you got Kyrie Irving. He doesn't have to be the guy. But he's so showing take, he's showing he's the guy. He's showing that no, 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 oh, he's I not. still got it. He, he had it here, but he was playing more minutes. He wasn't getting as much rest. He's coming in when need be. He's coming in when he's coming in when he has to come in. He's not he he doesn't have to start. He can come off the bench. He can give you what, 18 points in the first in the in the first game of this series and come back and give you seven points last night, but has some key points to kind of get your team up. Like, he's the guy coming off the bench now giving you a, a, a boost. And I think that's where he's going to be. I think that's how he's going to solidify his position with this team. He understands his role. He's going to play his role. He's going to come out the game healthy. Like, that's, that's his main role here. He doesn't have to be the guy. I think he's protecting his health here. Nobody's going to convince me otherwise. I really do. I, th yeah. I think he was – I am he, not going to exert myself. I'm much. already living on borrowed time. That dude's body is a mess. Yeah. I, I So, in my opinion – it, Art, to your point, He's I think if you want if you want to be pissed at somebody, I don't blame you for saying why didn't we see that in Detroit. I'm convinced he was saving his body. I'm yeah, convinced but here's he the was. thing, Sean. His body's a mess. Look at this fucking dunk. Well, that's why. Like, Art, give me a come Art, on, no. man. Art, said, Art, do you hey, understand you, what you're missing? My point. Do you have it off the when he caught it off the rim with the two? Do you have the highlight? Find that real quick. Go ahead. What was you saying, Sean? Art, I think you're missing my point. Why am I going to do this in Detroit? I'm going to save this for when we're competing. I, I'm convinced. That's I'm gonna tell you. What it I'm, is. A, I'm gonna tell you this. What you're saying has some validity to it. I, I business agree with you. Decisions. It, it's business decisions. It's business. business yeah. decisions. Why would I exert my body on a team that's not going to make it to the playoff? Let me play a little bit. Let me reserve my health, and then let me just stay healthy enough for this trade. It if went you want to a great shit team. on him for that, you're more than welcome. No, here's to, but my that's thing. Exactly though. what let's, it was. Let's put it in lower terms, and not to compare working here to being a professional athlete. Okay, if I'm on any show. I'm giving it my all because I'm a representation of me. The fact that Blake is dunking like crazy, playing like he's never played before because he's on the nets, but he couldn't do it with the Pistons is a bullshit excuse. Not not, not you guys. But I'm going I'm to I'm tell you this. I think that's exactly what it was. I'm, I'm, I'm going to. No, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. If you're going into the last game of, say, an NFL season, last game, um, you're banged up, you're playing at 65 70% and you want to get out this game healthy. You guys are not playing for the playoffs. You guys are just playing this last game because it's on the schedule. And now you're basically playing for pride. Now, I'm going to go out there and play hard, but I'm not going to put myself in a position to where now I, I make my injury worse. Um, and now I have a longer, I have a longer uh, recovery time in the off season, which is going to take away from my training for the following season. I'm going to stay healthy. And that's kind of what he did when he was here in Detroit. Right, I, I felt sorry for Blake Griffin as recent as, you know, a few months ago when he was here, to your point. I, like, I honestly, I, I thought yeah. this poor guy, he's had so many surgeries. He's never going to be the same player that he was, you know, blah, 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 all of that stuff. Um, but to your point, I think we all have to acknowledge there was another gear there that we didn't see here. But why? And if you, if you want to shit on him for that, you, you have that right. I'm telling you, Art, you he's not right. playing as many minutes. He's not starting. He doesn't have to be the guy. He can come in and he can play. Like, he's getting rejuvenated. Like, he's rejuvenated now. Is this the okay, old Blake we were used to seeing? Ah. Continue, continues with that performance. Give me those. Great All of a sudden, he's instantly healed from everything. Because he's playing more minutes. No, less minutes. Oh, less minutes. Sorry. Less minutes. Because when you were on the Pistons, you couldn't have showed that to fucking begin with. But you go to the Nets on a super team, and all of a sudden you're the superstar along with them. He's a great backup to what Brooklyn's already doing. I understand that. Yeah. But the fact that you change jersey colors and it changes everything is a bullshit excuse. They would have given him just... He had all the minutes, and I understand that. Then pull him back, let the rookies show what they can do on the Pistons, and let him score some points and do some dunks. But no, he hit it from Detroit and showed... You can't, listen, Brooklyn. listen, Art. When you're on a team like Detroit at the time when he was here, he can't sit on the bench because they're always playing from behind. He can go sit on the bench here and go into the game where the team is already winning or behind three or four points. He doesn't have to do as much work. 
is different. Yeah. They weren't getting crap for him because of that contract anyway. Even with yeah. as well as he was playing, that contract was such a an albatross. I mean, I, I mean, remember to when that it came down and the Pistons said, well, they're going to be exploring a trade. There was no trade to be had. Yeah. It, it just wasn't. Even with him playing this well, this wasn't a case where you were going to trade that contract it, or, or, and, and get anything of consequence. Uh, Brian said that dunk was okay for Blake, and yeah, it irked me that he held back that gear, and it was rather obvious he was yeah. too. Absolutely, positively. That, yeah. that guy, that guy, it's we need to see that guy. Hat. So what do you think the over-under is on um, the Nets sweeping the Bucks? That would be a good prop bet. Yeah. That would be a good prop bet. You looking for some prop bets? Well, with baseball in full swing, Stanley Cup playoffs, NBA playoffs, off to a hot start, you can meet each and every series matter by having a stake in the game at mybookie.ag. Now, regardless of whether you're betting favorites or underdogs, player prop bets are just looking to make some cash, MyBookie gives you tons of options to make all your favorite matches a heck of a lot more exciting. Look, if you're betting for the first time, you don't know what to bet on, yeah, they're there to help you and get you in the right direction. For example, as Joy just said, hey, I really, I really think Brooklyn's going to take care of business. Yeah, you could put your money where your mouth is there. They've got props of all types. If you bet on the Habs to sweep the Jets last night, and I know a couple guys here that did that, that paid you handsomely. But you have to take the initiative. Go to mybookie.ag, sign up now. Use promo code Woodward to get your first deposit match halfway up to $1,000. Let them know that we sent you and use that promo code Woodward to get that free deposit and start your day off with a W. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. All right, so you got the chalk in the NBA. In the Stanley Cup playoffs, it's been madness. And we'll talk about some of that madness next right here on Woodward Sports. Tony is a third generation logger that has a simple, practical approach to life and work. That's why his Coast DX342 knife is perfect for him. The stainless steel blade is rust resistant and made for all weather use. And the double roll lock safety ensures that it will never inadvertently close when he doesn't want it to. That's why Coast is trusted tough. What up, Dope? Glad you could join us now. I, I have to scroll back up, and quite frankly, I'm too lazy to do so, but Jeremy Jeremy said, uh, Joyke, I think that uh, Denver's going to end up giving the Suns a series here. He said, I can see this going six or seven. Phoenix is an interesting story to me because you know why? Right. Much like you and I were talking about earlier, I think everybody just thought, okay, LeBron's healthy. The Lakers are going to go into playoff mode. And what's 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 uh, LeBron's little quote for it? He doesn't he doesn't he use a playoff mode or whatever the, uh, the heck the case may be? LeBron. Yeah, Le- LeBron LeBron uses that thing. Yeah, and like, I, yeah. I think that, quite frankly, um, I think that Phoenix is a team right now that knew it was good, and all of a sudden is sitting here right now going, um, "Screw you, haters! We're gonna we're gonna be taking care of business." We knew we were better than everybody thought. You guys all disrespected us. Even when we made the series 2-2, everybody still thought, well, the Lakers are going to get right because they've got LeBron. And, and, and AD went down. They kicked look, look their totally butts. Yeah, AD no went down to like a totally different team. Yep. Totally different team. If you look at, if you look at how they played um, last night, I mean, they're playing at a high level. You have four players on, this, on the team um, averaging 20-plus points. Booker, 21 points, eight assists. Chris Paul, 23 points, 11 assists. You have, but you have what Bridges coming out with 23 points. I mean, these guys. I mean, they're playing at a very, very high level right now. I don't see them winning more than one. I don't see Denver. You know, and I, I like some of the players on Denver. Like I like those guys over there. But I think if Phoenix continue to play the way they've been playing and hitting all cylinders, playing good defense, making shots all, all around the court. I don't see them winning more than one game in this series. I, I don't see it. I see, but I do see Denver win, winning the game before I see the Bucks winning the game. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm not going to sure. that. Hi. Can I say that this is truly beautiful, seeing this? I mean, look at that. No more than one game. Just a completely full stadium. Huh. 
It's just, I, I don't know about you guys, but it's weird. Like, for instance, this weekend, they're doing they're, the fights in Glendale, Arizona, yeah. and it's at capacity. And I still haven't adjusted my mind to the year where we were all, like, locked down. And just seeing this footage and seeing all of these people, it's a beautiful thing. I like it. It's crazy. Are we ever, <clears throat> sorry, I'm going there, Art. Are we, are we ever going to have the, um, are we ever going to have the conversation about, um, people chastising championships down in Alabama or championships down in Tampa or wherever the case may be. Yeah. Are we ever going to have that conversation or are we just going to forget that that didn't happen? Mm. People scolding everybody and saying there are going to be casualties everywhere and people dying everywhere. We're never going to have that conversation, are we? Then you wonder why people are pissed off around, around here. All you hear is, uh, what are you doing? Sons and five. There's going to be I ma- can see that. massive deaths in Alabama and massive deaths in Tampa. And, and not only didn't you have massive deaths, you didn't have any kind of spike. We're never going to have that conversation. I see Devin we? winning probably, probably in three and four. We're never going to have that conversation. No, we can have that conversation. No, Troy, keep going. We need to talk more sports. Sean wants to go off about this. I'm not going to. No, no. I'm not going to. We're, you know what, Art, I'm going to say it. We're not adult enough to have that conversation. We aren't. Because you know what that means? That means that people have to say, I was wrong. And people are incapable of doing that today. So we'll just, we'll all move on with our day and pretend it never happened. And you chastise people and finger wag people and told people how to live their lives. Fuck off. All right, so uh, listen. <laughs> hey, get, get, get fish in this class. Get, get fish in Get fish in Thank you, fish. Get, hey, bring your hands up, fish. Bring your hands up, fish. There we go. <laughs> how you feel about that, fish? Uh, that's good. <laughs> Golden. Thank you, Freaking Fish. Golden. Okay, Fish, we're All good. Right, Thank you, Fish. All right, Fish. No, we're never going to have that conversation. All right, cool. Um, no, you know what? I, to me, what is exciting? <laughs> what is happening? What is going on in Joy, this I like new blood. I think it's exciting. I like to watch the team, the, yeah. little, the little train that thinks it can. I can't wait until the Lions get in the playoffs one day. Yeah. And you know what people are very guilty of? They're looking they're guilty of looking at Detroit Lions and thinking, well, the Lions suck. Well, yeah, they have sucked, but because they've sucked in the past, surely there's no way that this team could be legitimate, right? Right. I love that stuff. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I love I love that team that, you know, kinda casts aside Cast aside the, you know, the preconceived notions that people have about them. And I think that the Phoenix Suns are playing like a team right now that have a chip on their shoulder. And I like it. I like seeing it. I'm, they're, they're riding the train right now. Um, they're playing at a high level. They're going to win this series. And that's it. Because when they go see those boys down there in Brooklyn, it is over. Can we get uh, predictions from both of you? Oh, uh, as far as the series? As far as ever, no, everything. Finals. Who do you see winning it at all? Oh, I see the I see the Nets winning it all this year. Easily? Easily. I think they I are think too. I think I think Phoenix might win two games in that in, in the finals. So you think it's going to be a Phoenix It's, it's going to be it's going to be Brooklyn in 6. Okay. And then in this series with Denver I have, you know, I'm going to give Denver one game. I'm going to say I have them winning in 5. And then Did you um, say you've got Brooklyn in 6? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I got Phoenix. Oh, okay. Phoenix because it, 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 no, no, no. I have I have Brooklyn in the six for the final, right? That's the finals. But they're gonna sweep the Bucks. They're easily. gonna sweep the Bucks, right? They're gonna and then I have Phoenix in five um, against um, the Nuggets. Okay, just hit me out. And then when it happens, I'm not. This is not. This is what's gonna happen. <laughs> not prediction. This is what's gonna happen. So when the series over, the final, I want I want go back to this clip. Bring it up. No, I will. I will. Bring it up. I will. All right. Okay. Sean, what's your prediction? Uh, you know what? I, I, I don't want to just dismiss the Sixers, but I feel the same way he does. I, I, Brooklyn having this engaged Blake Griffin just makes them dangerous. I mean, it just – I just thought it was a meh move, nice depth move, you know, kind of like showing my age here. The Celtics bringing in Bill Walton 30-plus years ago, I didn't think that this guy had the amount of game that he's shown left in him. I didn't. So – I think that makes Brooklyn very, very dangerous. So I'm going to take Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to take Brooklyn. Yes. Uh, you have the Sixers. 
That's what you have? No, you I'm think, taking Brooklyn over Philly. Yeah, they don't uh, have I, I, think the, I think the Sixers are tough. I mean, they were the number one seed for a reason, but Brooklyn is a different it, – I mean, an engaged Blake Griffin. I'm not saying that he looked like Blake Griffin in his heyday, but – this guy doesn't look like anything like the Blake Griffin that we saw here the last couple of years. That's no. for sure. Uh, he's he's going to he, be the X factor. He's been a big. He's been a big. He's been a big addition to that he's, team. He's, so I, I kind of like. Yeah, if I, he's playing I, at a high level. They have a better chance of winning. It's point blank period. I don't see the 76ers getting past Brooklyn. Like, no, <laughs> no, no. Uh, Stanley Cup playoffs have been amazing. Um, you know, the the one story obviously that I've been following pretty closely. Uh, Montreal barely got into the playoffs, and they um, have gone on a run. They were down 3-1 to the Leafs, and they came back, and I I have no other way to say it, you know, just turned into a different hockey team than they were, not only in that series, but the last month of the year. They were terrible the last month of the year. Mm. And there's Tyler Toffoli winning in overtime last night, and there was spontaneous screaming uh, heard uh, out in the Northville area last night. At about uh, oh, speaking of which, no, we got to cut the show. There's somebody who's got somebody. He's got to say something. Hang on. Oh yeah, what do you got? Ole, 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 ole. <laughs> they sweep the jets away, away. Ole, ole. 1967, bitch. Sorry, he just when he shows up, you have to play it. I'm sorry. Is that my guy from um, That's Habs Me? Man. Is that the guy from Despicable Me? I don't know why he shows up at my house like he does. It's it's kind of annoying, but uh, restraining order. He had to, he had to be quiet last night because my daughter was sleeping. So I'll give him some respect. He was quiet he while was my quiet. daughter was sleeping. That was that was appreciated. It's funny, man. He had the same kind of gray hairs on his beard as you have. He he, ch- he tries to imitate me. It's it's sad. It's I don't know why. why same you, bone structure, same everything. Why would you try to Why would you try to imitate me? Yeah. It's not me, dude. But um, yeah, it's it's a cra- it's a crazy story. Uh, they're in eight. Look at, that's not me. You can clearly tell. I don't I don't know. I kind of see the yeah. the eyes. Sean, I had to explain to the whole morning show that there are two different people. They didn't understand what I was talking about. <laughs> I had to me. tell them they're two different people. Uh, you know what? I'm going to find the old video a few years ago. I did an interview with him because this <laughs> this came up <laughs> seven eight years ago. <laughs> Could you imagine, Joyke? I, I did. Like he's just, he's sitting there. I saw how you feel. I did, he's doing I, it all by himself. I did an interview with him. I'll even find you a picture of, there's one picture floating out there, and I'll find it for you. Sean, oh, stop there is, to our viewers. I told you, people are going to believe People are going to believe you, Sean. My grandmother gonna, thought you were 72. I'm going to show you. The, I, I, there was an interview. I did an interview with him. And you'll see that interview, and then there's also a picture of me with my arm around him, and I'm pointing at him, and he's pointing at no. me as if to say we're not the same person. I don't believe it. I'll find you the picture. If you have that picture, I will put all lies. doubt aside. Lies. All right. These are lies. You're going to find out. All right, when I find that picture, when I find that picture, I want apologies from all of you. You might get one. There, is, there, is, an, there is a picture of me with my arm around him, and he's pointing at my face. And I'm pointing at his mask. Oh, well, I would do an apology, but me and my buddies are going on an apology tour. You're not invited. Sorry. Who's my buddies. buddies. My a, buddies. All right, all right. What's the buddy's name? Uh, it's C- Liar. I, so are you. Liar. <laughs> Liar. It's Big, Big Mitchell. <laughs> I'm going to find this picture Big right now Mitchell. when we go to the break, damn it. You guys, now you guys are pissing me off. Well, you know what? You're pissing me off, so let's go to the break. What was sports? Perfect. I'm looking to bring out another HVAC tech right now. We are recruiting five to 10 techs a month. We're looking to grow and expand. Every new tech we hire is from Northwestern Tech. The hands-on training is fantastic. They're always my first call. We love hiring Northwestern Tech grads. They come out trained and ready to work. Our program is only 10 and a half months and our next classes are starting soon. So why wait? I'm looking to hire- I'm looking to hire- Hire a graduate of Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. No, you're ticking me off. I'm going to find this picture before I'm off the air. Good. How's that? Yeah. Hey, I, I do we have care. a caller? Why don't you guys have a show amongst yourselves, and I'll find this damn Let's picture. Let's talk amongst ourselves. And speaking of speaking amongst ourselves, we have a caller. Let's go to the aquarium. Yes, sir. We have Pete on the line who wants to talk to Art. Why? Hey, what's up, Pete? You're here with Joy Bill, Sean Belizean, and Artemis Smith. What's up? Hi, hi, Joy. Hi, hi, Sean. Hi, Art. 
Hi, Fish. Um, uh, What's up, Pete? Art. Yes, sir. Art, what kind of insurance? Do, what kind of insurance do you have? Okay, we can talk about this off air. I'm gonna get killed if we end up spending ten minutes more talking about this damn windshield. No, I want to know. We're trying to help you, real, yeah, but I'm gonna get I'm killed. Tired this is a of sports it. network, not a windshield I'm network. Tired. I'm tired hey, of it, man. You, know, you didn't answer the question. We I want to help Art. All right, I want to help Art. I want to help, help pay for his windshield. No, that's no, we're not doing yeah. that. Kiki, oh, that's very nice of you. I'll figure up. it out. I, we appreciate it. We appreciate that. May, hey, we're gonna give. I'm gonna give you his number, his personal cell number. You give him a call. Okay. Uh, hey, I'll you have a pen. Do you have a pen? Do you have a pen on you? <laughs> You're gonna just. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a pen on you? Don't do it. Huh? Don't do it. Do his it, number is three. And listen, his number is um is eight one zero. Eight one zero five five five. No, I'll give you my number. It's a, I know what you're doing. Eight one zero two eight zero six three five eight. Call me. Two eight zero six three five eight. Okay. I don't care. You, you know what? I'll call my phone. Call. I need more friends. What were you saying, okay, Pete? Hey. Yeah. Oh, uh, I want to go to a ball game with you guys. Me, my, me and my son go to a couple games a year. And yeah. we love to meet both you, Sean, and you, Joy, and our and everybody else. I uh, we appreciate that. Thanks, Pete. Very kind. Pre I appreciate, appreciate, appreciate you, Pete. Thank you, Pete. You got some Please. new friends Thank here you, at World Sports. Believe in the bell. Appreciate right, thanks you, for tapping Pete. in. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Look at that, man. People are calling in, being Art, nice. And Art, to is help still, you. I know, and Art has still been a bottle of pop. No, it's just the thing is, is I don't like help. I, I can help. I'm my own man. I'm a, I'm a gorilla. Hey, I don't need help, but please help me by getting here at 10 15. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta love Art. Art, you didn't really give your phone number out, did you? Yeah, that's my phone number. Yeah, that's I don't care. What Honestly, the hell's wrong with you? Eight one zero two eight zero six three five eight. I need more friends. Yeah. Why do you have a? Why do you have a? Uh, and you know what? I'll update you because so far no one has texted me. So we'll do text updates during the show. Listen, Nobody. I'm a man of the people. Trust Pete me. knows you're doing a show, so do he's gonna be kind of courteous. Do you, know you, you remember that you went out and they were like, "Oh, aren't you from the Believe in the Bell show?" Mm -hmm. People know who you are now, Art. That's well, nice. It's uh, nice. It feels good. It feels good. It yeah. feels good. You know. Okay. It I wish you. Kennedy and Sean would treat me better. You know, Joy, you treat me the best out of everyone. Oh my gosh! Lies. You know what? You know, the hell's wrong you with you? You know, whenever my daughter lies or or, or 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 Phipps playing around, we say, "Oh, your nose is getting bigger. Your nose is growing in there, Art. Your nose is growing." No, now you got me in a mission. Yeah, now I now I. But you know what it is though. I do treat Art the best because I will call Art and I check on Art and make sure he's doing good. I put in the good work. Art, Art, do we not talk? Do we not have our? We do. Yeah. I just yeah, I don't need to be coddled. I'm my own. Oh, I got text coming in. Look at that. Who is that? Is that Chat? <laughs> so someone texted. Hey, and Mr. Said, Johnson. Yeah. Someone texted and said, "Hey, I heard this was the number for the glory hole." <laughs> It's yeah, well, not my Google number. I just gave out a real number. I, I heard this the number for what? <laughs> if it's the number for the glory hole. For the glory hole? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, 20 bucks is 20 bucks, man. Oh. <laughs> I hope Grammy Wamey's not in the chat. I hope Grammy Wamey took the day oh off from watching this show. My grandma wouldn't know what the glory hole is. <laughs> Don't you might not know what it Do is, Grammy Wamey. dictionary yet. <laughs> No. Oh God! All right, I was just joking. I wasn't giving you a real made number. It worse is you go twenty bucks is twenty bucks. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. To Believe in the Bell Show. You're yeah, sitting here. Done. You're sitting here with Joy Bell, Sean Believe in a bunch of clowns. Oh my gosh! Oh, gosh. Um, so the Ooh. Islanders Boston series has been nuts. I mean, absolutely nuts. The Islanders. You have to show Barry Trotz some love. I mean, just time and time again, Barry Trotz just seems to get the most out of his team. And this is uh, another example. A lot of people thought that the Bruins would just smoke him. Uh, Tuka Rask wasn't good last night. And then the story came out. He's been fighting uh, injury for the Bruins. Uh, Islanders take care of business. I'm a big fan of uh, games in Nassau Coliseum, too. That's their old old shithole of a rink and so they get an opportunity to go play in nassau coliseum again and uh that's awesome and then the habs last night dominated i mean there's no other way to say it they dominated winnipeg winnipeg's goaltender played great last night mm. uh give him credit he's a guy from not too far from here from uh commerce 
Connor hmm. Hellebuck, uh, he single-handedly held the uh, the Jets in the game last night because they were they were they were dominating, and um, Canadians end up winning. And uh, they now they have a seven-game win streak. Uh, they haven't trailed in 78 years, and this is a team that in any other year wouldn't have made the playoffs. They just were they just weren't a good team, and they got out the broom last night. So now they await the winner of Colorado and Las Vegas because this is people are actually calling are they FaceTiming you? should you I put them on speakerphone? Are they you guys face, are yeah, the they're, best they're really, all right, hang on um, hello? hello? Art? yeah Pete Mike Kelly, how are you? Uh, I'm good, how are you? <laughs> Dude. Uh, I'm the guy who just called. I, I call you guys all the time. Oh, I uh, listen. I'm 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 on air right now. We're actually on air. Uh, let me call you after the show, okay? Yeah, call me after the show. I, I got I got some news for you. Maybe 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 I can help you out. I did not get you pregnant. I, that uh, that is not my child. Whenever I hear <laughs> I've got news for you, <laughs> I am not the father. That's not that's not no no no. That's not what you hear. He's like. Art, we need to talk. Someone just texted me and said, did you kick my dog? <laughs> I know that bit. I know that bit. That's an old soundboard bit. Listen, I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> I made a, you know how like, you do stuff for the show? And an hour it will hit me when I'm like, why? Why? I don't Art. ask you guys for anything out there in, in, in viewer land. I, you know, hopefully you're entertained by our uh, well, that's shenanigans. Number. Can you, <laughs> can you do me one favor today? Could you just drop a note on my friend Art? And yes, I said my friend Art. Work friend. And, and just... <laughs> I'm sorry. And just tell him I hope you're having a great so day. Give Kennedy Keep your a chin call up. at you do that? nine. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. 438. <gasps> do it, I dare 65, you. 65, 42. Give her a call. Was that your number, Kennedy? So no, just take it. a minute of your day and just text Art and say, Art, I hope your day goes better. Yes. I'm a fan of yours. Could you do that? That Send would I, I would be very appreciative of that. Thank Seriously. you. Seriously. Send them a I'm having a good day. I've learned that if I don't talk during the first segment, Joy thinks that like my cat died or something. I, like, didn't, I didn't say anything to you. I know, but oh I got another text. Oh God. What is what's that one? I think people put me on the spam thing. Do you ever know like the cat fax that you can go to? You put your number in and then you get cat fax every hour. I just got my first one and it's a subscription to where like if you really wanted to screw somebody over, you send them cat fax and for like five dollars a month they send a cat fax to the number that you put in every hour. Why did I do this? You know the best yeah, part yeah. is? It's the first time I've seen Sawyer smile in his entire yeah. time here. Yeah. Yeah. Sawyer's yeah. loving. Look at him. Look at him. He loves the yeah. busy of others. Hey, That's, yeah. God bless you, hey. Sawyer. Hey, I always say, misery loves company. And hurt people hurt people. Yeah, if you can go back and rewind, if you want Art's phone number, he, he, he willingly it gave it out. So if you could just send him a text and tell him to have a nice day and Hey, and don't worry about it. I'll put it in the um I'll put it on YouTube. Go ahead. I don't care. I can't believe you did that. You know what? Maybe I'll have more buddies and we'll go to Halloween ourselves. Yeah. Halloween kills without Sean. I don't need you. You know what? Deleting your number and being free. I'll do it, Sean. So sick and You know what, Sawyer? Do the second hour. I'm done. I've got stuff to do. Uh, but, but, speaking of second hour, let's take a break and come back for the second hour. Here, I have a question for you guys when but we come back. Ever since Corey's been wearing this LeBron James jersey around the network, ah! it's been falling down a lot. And you know, really, that's it. Dan Campbell is going to be the man for the Lions. Don't you agree, oh! Corey? I didn't even touch you. question for you guys yeah. so this year um the nhl is reseeding for its version of the final four as opposed to having the eastern conference teams play and the western conference teams play do you like reseeding like playing so basically no matter what happened in the previous series the teams 
are all reseeded by virtue of their record going into the conference finals. Do you like that? No. Neither do I. No. I, I, I no. think it's silly. And, and not, just, not just because the My, Habs... I mean, what, was the, what was the reasoning behind the, it? Not just because the Habs are going to be playing the two best teams. It's just, I, I think it's silly. I think it's... Isn't that part of it is to play the East versus the West? I don't know. And sometimes it might be a case where it is the East playing the West, um, you, you know, based on how teams finished and everything. But because it was a COVID year, right? And in this year in the National Hockey League in particular, they had, you know, the North Division. It was all the Canadian teams. Uh, because of that, um, they just decided, even though, you know, Canada now opened itself up to, to have games. So uh, with Montreal moving on, the American teams are allowed to go to Canada and the Canadian team is allowed to travel into Ozu Tazuni. Um, they're, they're reseeding. And um, I don't know. I, I, I don't like the whole idea of reseeding. I don't. I, hmm. I never. I think you. Yeah, I mean, is the, what's the reasoning? Is it because of the because of COVID? Yeah, it's because of the COVID thing. Okay. So in, instead of East versus East, it's you know since they had to change the divisions this year, uh, and normally it would be the two remaining teams um, out of the one through eight. Although there's a rumor going around they're going to go back to divisional play in hockey, where the teams play in the division instead of one versus eight in the conference, it's one versus four in each division, which mm. I think is awesome. I mm. love it. It, it promotes rivalry. It promotes, you know, um, creating a true rival in the division because I think, unfortunately, at least in hockey, there aren't a whole heck of a lot of them right now. Um, but then what happens, Joyke, is, you know, you get, say, the one seed wins and the two seed wins, and they're playing to go take on the champion of the West. Now it's just like, no, the team from the East is going to play the team from the West, and... It's, it's weird how it's going to be configured this year. So, in essence, what's going to happen this year is you are going to see in the conference finals three teams, three teams from the East and one team from the West, the way the divisions were configured. And they're not going to be um, in a bracket. It's, it's going to be reseeded. I, I don't like the reseed. I know a lot of people like the reseed. I don't like it. I, don't, I like divisional play. I'm, I'm yeah. old school like that. I, I like divisional play. You don't so, like change. Yeah. Well, you know what? I... I don't know. To me, it's a bracket. A bracket's a bracket. What? You don't change a bracket. Think about NCAA tournament, right? You got to think how that would affect my book. You, you, have, you have a field of 64. You have a field of 64. What if we just decided to reseed after the Sweet 16? Or the, the Elite Eight? Or the Final Four? We just said, yeah, I know we're playing in these brackets, and we put these brackets out and get everybody all excited. Ah, bracket schmackets. Why don't we just reseed these teams by where they were ranked at the end of the season? Well, then what's the fucking point of it? Sweat jar. What's the freaking Swear point? Of, what's the freaking point of even doing the bracket? So yeah, I mean, you can accuse me of being an old man for a lot of things. I I openly admit it. I to me, I I don't I don't get I don't get thought, I don't get the whole club? damn. <laughs> I'm just rain. I'm making it rain. I'm making it rain. I, I don't get why. Well, then why have the bracket? Big money it's just, shot. It's just kind of stupid, right? Isn't it? If if you come out of of your region, then you you come out of your region. You beat everybody else in your region. I I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Some people don't get wrapped up about it. I think it's stupid. Why 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 even have it then? Why like to me why like the NHL? Why have divisions if you're not going to have divisional playoff? It's called a conference. Stupid. Quick, real quick. Give me Tuesday. Come on. We got Kennedy coming in. Giving Tuesdays. Hi. I made this video before work. And it's just so you can all understand why I go through on a daily basis. So Art, or I mean Sawyer, put pre Malone. We'll load it up for you right now. Yeah. Hey guys, so I'm about to leave for Woodward Sports, but I wanted to hop on really quick and tell you what I'm doing today. So I'm calling it Giving Tuesday, but basically this will give you guys a really, really good insight on what it's like to actually work at Woodward Sports and what our dynamic is truly like. So I'm gonna go through, um, I think either Tim Hortons or Dunkin' Donuts and get donuts for people. 
And so I'm basically going to walk in the office and be like, hey, like I got something for you. And they're either going to act excited or scared or like think it's a prank when I'm actually being nice because that's the sort of dynamic that we have. So I think I'm for sure going to start with art. So hopefully they have something gluten free. I will pick up this vlog once I get to whatever destination and I'll see you guys later. Could I just get um, four <laughs> um, donuts, whatever ones, it doesn't matter, just the like classic ones. And could I get those individually bagged? For sure, anything else? Yeah, do you have anything gluten free? No, not to my knowledge. Okay, um, then I will just do a medium ice cap as well. Okay. All right, thank you so much. Yep, go ahead and pull out. I got this for no, you. No, I don't want it. And Why? I want you to go home. <laughs> what? Go home. Go home, Kennedy. Take my gift. No, I'm <laughs> on a diet. Oh my God, really? I'm just kidding, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Come here, Juicy. Juicy, sit down. Sit down, please. What's up? I got you something. Oh no, what is it? <laughs> it's this old football, you're welcome. No, it's not, shut up, Art. Oh, sorry. Here you go. I got you a donut. Wait, why is everyone giving me this nervous look? Do you think I was lying? Is it? Well, oh, like don't a, eat it, don't eat it! What kind is it? I don't know! Oh, okay, no, I was just curious. There's something behind this. There's something coming. What, what, what? Tell him, Kennedy. It's Giving Tuesday. Giving Tuesday! Bro, are you serious? Yes! Oh, that was nice of you, thank you. I thought there was like- so weird. We have something we. I keep saying we, but you have nothing to do with this. Let's yes, make that I do. Very I have everything to do with this. <laughs> it's Giving Tuesday. Sawyer, so we have something for you. And first of all, how does that make you feel? A little excited. Oh my god. See, Sawyer's so the only wholesome one about it. <laughs> yes! We got everyone donuts. Timmy hoes. Timmy hoes. Timmy hoes. You're welcome, by the way. Kennedy's doing the video, but I paid for it. No, <laughs> Giving Tuesday. But Fish, I got you something. Why'd you say oh no? Because I just say oh no. You get me stuff. It's a donut. Oh, thank you. You came out. Can I give it to you? No! Joey, I got you something. Some more. Uh huh. Uh huh. You're falling for that. Get out of here. No, I'm. Joey, I'm being. Look in the bag. No. Why? What did I do wrong? Nothing. <laughs> Actual dog. I got the big sprinkles. It's so fitting for your personality. All right, what did I do wrong? Nothing. <laughs> what did I do? Fish, what did I do? Now get out. What? I let 50 damn people in this damn door every single day, and you want to do some Giving Tuesday bullshit? <laughs> I got time. I'm working. I'm making graphics. <laughs> Where's our donuts? Cause we came here on a Tuesday. We didn't have any donuts. When that we got makes here. me so sad. That no one trusts me. Yes. I know. That everybody thinks it like some practical joke, but there is one good thing that I came out of it. When when Sawyer has mayhem on his mind, I'm gonna hand him a donut, and he's just gonna change. <laughs> Like, that's going to be my saving grace, because one day he's going to turn on me, and we going to go, I saw you, look what I have, and he's going to go, thank you, and, and, and I'm going to be okay. Doesn't the, no, seriously, that. Did, did you get Sawyer uh, a donut? Did you not watch the video that was just up? Okay, because, no, 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 because, no, 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 no I'm, I'm making a point. If you gave Sawyer a donut, he was the last one to start working here. And me and Sean, they had the whole time. I've known Sawyer the longest, though. We went to school together. You haven't known him longer at this station. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I had to I do that all this morning and edit it. So it was already edited and done by the time you guys got here. Great job. Great. Kennedy, that was awesome. That, you know, but, was that not perfect, though? Like, it was, was perfect. that not exactly was, what you been, thought everyone would do? It would have been perfect if I would have came here to a donut on the desk and we could have saved it for Giving Tuesdays. <laughs> Listen, also, I thought you would reject a I was donut at 10, if I got one. I don't know how much Mr. early you want to get I was at 1028. 1028. 1028. Sorry. You're complaining about not being in the video, yet you show up at 1030. I didn't say. I, I didn't, did I complain about the video? Or did I complain about yeah, not getting a donut? Not 
<laughs> no, I did the same thing about being in the video. I said getting a donut. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah. That is a joint thing. Thank you. Tammy said, Tammy said, I love it, Kennedy. I, I like the idea. I think that's good. And you know what, uh, Kennedy, here's, here's the crazy thing. You guys may not know this about me. Yeah. I am not a donut fan. I never. No, I just had Krispy Kreme the didn't, other day. Didn't, I think I told you this. When I was a kid, um, I, my parents thought, well, now they know something's wrong with me. They thought something was wrong with me because I didn't like birthday cake. Do you, so so you every year at my birthday, they learned very early. It, like my mom, I remember one year, my aunt made me yeah. like this M&M cake. And like, because my aunt is like cool and she made me this M&M cake, like I, I ate it, but like my mom could tell I didn't like it. And my mom was like, you don't like cake, do you? And I was like, mom, I, no, I don't like it. So I would get a birthday pizza. That was my, like, that was my birthday cake every year. I, no BS. What about I, I how to, so never like cake? So, I, I don't so, like okay. cake. I don't like donuts. All right, cool. All right, like all right so so fine. I'll give you a pass on not liking donuts. All right, I'll give you a pass on not liking cake because I really don't like mm -hmm. cake either. I would eat it time you know, sometimes if it's okay, but I really don't like cake. Yeah. Um, but you do like Krispy Kreme. Mm -mm. <laughs> Sorry, That's I, I don't. I'm, I, I never. No, I'm. I'm not like crazy. All right, so my kids, my kids have this thing. And we're going to break in a second. My, kid, my kids have this thing. Once a month, I get in the mood, like, for candy. And I have to do my candy run. Like, literally once a month. And, like, there's a CVS near my house, and I go up, and I'll buy a couple candy bars, maybe a bag of Skittles, and it's like, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, that, that's it. I'm done for the month. So I don't have, like, I don't like. What I, is it? Is it too sweet? I, I just never liked it. Like, it's not. You like brownies? Lord knows it's sometimes. I have to be in the mood. It, it's. All right, ice cream's the same way. Like, ice cream's a, I have to be in the mood for ice cream. Ice cream's, like, probably... So you don't like sweets? Like, yeah, I really don't like sweets that much. Never. Okay, so you don't like sweets. Candy's different. You I, like... But but just to clarify, you don't like donuts, but you'll try a Krispy Kreme. Have you had Krispy Kreme Yeah, before? I've had it. It's... I, okay. It's a donut. No, 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 no. Do you no, think no, you'd no. like one of the no, donuts no, 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 with bacon can you, can you, on it? They do those bacon I tried ones. it. I tried it just to no, try it. And that's it just, just no, I didn't. I didn't. Mm. No, I didn't. No, they, I remember they were doing like the they were doing like the breakfast sandwiches when you had two donuts. No, and oh. you had and you no. had the don't ruin my breakfast sandwich. Like and they that. had like the sausage, egg, and cheese in the middle of it, and you ate it like a like a sandwich, and it was just like a it was just like a. a a heart attack sandwich or something like a diabetes sandwich. Juicy Jeff, Juicy Jeff said, uh, I can confirm that the donut was good. Sorry, Joyke. Thank you, Juicy. Listen, I'm telling you, like, guys, do you know what, to me, Kennedy, do you know what that showed? That showed that we all have to be nicer to each other and improve the culture around here. That and that I think it lesson. also showed who has been working here long enough to like really know how we operate because sawyer was the only one with the are, correct reaction and it's because he's been here the shortest amount of are, time are you hungry right now am i hungry yeah right now? are you hungry yeah why i want to buy everybody lunch today i don't know i don't like oh my this. gosh my giving tuesday no, i, I, I want to i'm, I'm I don't taking like what that. kennedy i don't did like her. this no, I don't like Art, it. It's from me. I it's know, different. but I always feel it. But like, like he wouldn't even let me buy him something out of a Birmingham roast. I don't like owing people. It's not you owing me I, anything. You don't owe me anything. No, it's friendship. It's yeah, friendship. friends do because they wanted to. You, you I know, know, you know, but you know what? Though? Hold on. Said but, hold on, but hold on. I understand where Art's coming from because I was the same way. I didn't like for people to do things for me because I felt like it was like a hidden agenda. Sawyer, so what would you like to eat? Are you hungry? He doesn't care. Yeah. Joy, what are you in the mood for? <laughs> yeah. One o'clock. Uh, I want. I want. I'm, I'm buying. I'm actually not eating. I'm not. You're, you're really I'm not soup. eating. Soup. I want All some right. soup. Can I get soup from over there? Uh, don't pull a Joy can order during the show. We're not. I <laughs> want to feed you guys. Dude, no, you can do it at one o'clock. Oh wait, you're out at one o one. Hey, isn't out the out smoke show tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. Do you it's, feed us. On I, I don't know if the smoke show's tomorrow. Oh. And I, it, but. Dave, is the smoke show tomorrow? Dave, I really want the tofu. My, my boy Dave is. Uh, the tofu is really. He's dealing good, with some um, house issues. I'm just going to leave it at that. Gotcha. So, uh, yeah. I don't know for sure if the smoke show's tomorrow. But no, I'm serious. Fish, will you go pick up? I want to buy everybody lunch. Hmm. We need to single hand. We're, give us some ideas about how we can improve culture around here, okay? Yeah. You guys. We'll do that when we I, come back. We'll yeah, we're giving our free hugs every Tuesday. Hi, I'm David Hall from Hall Financial. And at Hall Financial, we treat our clients like family. 
And our number one priority is giving each of our clients five-star service. Our passion for five-star service, combined with our expertise, allows us to find the best possible solution for refinancing your home loan. We take the time to focus on both the individual and the numbers. We're gonna walk you through the process and close your loan in half the time of our competition. Go to davidhallmortgage.com today. No, we're not gonna talk about it after the show because I'm not gonna be here after the show. Clearly. Okay? One on one. You're damn hey, but, right. But you know what though, Sean? You can order it on your way out. I, if you guys, if you want that, you tell me, I want to buy you all lunch. Can I buy you all lunch? I'm not gonna say no. I mean, I'm broke, so yeah, I'll take there's it. There's no, there's no hook. The hook's on at three o'clock. There's no hook. What's the data? What's the difference between Sean buying you food now and me buying you food a couple months ago? Because you was broke then. No, it's different with you. It's different with you. You and I have a different relation. A hundred dollar bill. I've never seen. Go to go to Sean. Go I to Sean. will buy. I've listen, never right seen here. That. What do you guys want? What is that mythical thing you have in go, your hand? Go order stuff. Oh, that's hey, go. Like, go yeah. order $100 stuff. $100 bills are that. real? Hey, I'm, I'm not going to give you that. This is mine. <laughs> but I, I will no, buy. No, no, that's for the food. Yeah, I will buy the food. Can I sure, keep the if, change? If you guys are hungry, I want you to I want Kenny, you to order something Kenny, what right do you now. Want? What are you in the mood for? Okay, here, hang on. Time out. You give me the $100. I'll order everyone lunch. You're getting water for lunch, by the way. And I keep the 100 bucks. You know, we'll do that. It'll be great. Oh, uh, so you're stealing money. And Kevin and said, you can never work for my charity. culture starts from the top down. We, we need to improve the culture around here. We do. That, that video is actually depressing to me. Kennedy, you did a great job. You did a great thing. You, Kennedy, you did a so great you. job. You, no, no, no. You, Kennedy, don't you dare feel guilty about but that. I feel really bad about that no. now. No, because you're starting to culture. I didn't do it to make you sad. I thought here's, it was funny. Here's the thing. What Sean's doing right now when he's off the camera, <sighs> I have to, oh, I don't want to get hit again. <laughs> He's doing this, guys. I'm telling you, this is a call for help. I'm blinking my eyes. SOS, please. He hits all of us. Steve. He even hits Joy. Steve says, You hate me, Sean? <laughs> Sean, you hate me? Hit. Sean hates me. He said hit. He said hit, not hate. Hit. Oh, no, I said hit. hit. He hits you twice on Sundays. Steve said, Art needs to visit Sean's backyard, uh, the money tree. Art, when you were over, you didn't pluck from the money tree. I gave you the option. And you were like, I'm just so happy to play catch. I, I don't need to pluck anything from that your sounds, money trees. That sounds like nothing Art would say. Listen, Art, all that I want is one of those Wayne Gretzky cards. You'll never hear from me Nothing's again. Happened. I'll be out. I'll be out. I'll see you later, Joy. It's been real. And where are you going to go? And where are you going to go when you spend that money up in a month? Yeah. You know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say, I, I look at those cards and I go, uh, you are destined Florida. Oh, you look like <laughs> you look like Houghton, Michigan. And that, that's what I, I look at every one of those cards. You want to go to Houghton, I Michigan? I love Houghton. One of my favorite, honestly, Houghton. If I, I'm not joking. It one, one destination for me. The rest of my days, I'd go to Houghton. I would. I, I, I love Houghton. Over Sandestin. Over uh, Destin, Florida. Yes. Okay. Yes. Over Destin. Okay. Yep. He said that I'm five glory holes away from a hundred bucks. <laughs> I mean, you know, listen. <laughs> You know. Lynn, Lynn, you nailed it. Uh, Sean, is it because everyone seems to be so jokingly all day, every day, that when somebody does something nice, that's automatically people think it's that's a joke? A, yes. That's what it is. Yep. That, that's that, what it is. That's depressing to me. That's wow. Why do you think, like, may, maybe that's why nobody that I work with, except for Fish, came over my house for the barbecue? Because they all thought, like, I, I was going to be giving away time bombs or something. I had COVID! Nobody came over. He had COVID. I like, had COVID. I, like, like the fish came over. Uh, Easy came over. TikTok Mikey came over. You let, him, you let him in your house. He did. You let him Tim in your McCullum house. Tim McCollum came over. Oh, T Dog was there. Am I forgetting anybody else? Those were the people that came over to my house. I had to ask Art multiple times before he came over my house. Sean, I and had did, COVID. Did I charge you anything? Art, here's <sighs> some wings. And I know, and I'm ribs. very appreciative, but I was also leery. I was like, he did, that's what I'm what talking about. What is this about? It, so Why? let me buy lunch for you guys. Fine, you know what? Buy me lunch. What do you want? Uh, you if, guys order whatever yeah, the hell you yeah, want. Okay. I, I got what do you want? What right. do you want? I'm no, serious. you're going to make fun of my order. No, I'm not. I get a chicken artichoke panini gluten-free. Why would I make fun I of don't that? know because I just I don't trust anyone at this network. I always feel like someone is out to prank me or get me. That's why I've got Sawyer with me twenty four seven. Kennedy, uh, you, this the one that's was awesome. Issue. This was this was like the best idea in the history of Woodward Sports. It is. Yeah. This was I'm serious. This was awesome. I didn't realize how necessary 
Terry, this no, was this for is us. a window into all of our souls, and I, I feel like an awful person right now. I really do. Like I, I you we know all what? need therapy. I want to apologize to all the people like for not knowing your name. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. Yeah. And if you want to come in here, everybody that didn't, I don't know your name. I'll buy you. No, one. because Mikey's gonna run in here. I know Mikey. I know we don't want him I'm in here. I'm not being mean to Mikey anymore. Guess what, Mike? You win. What Our is Mike, going on? Mike, no, Mike wins. Mike, you win. I surrender. What I is surrender. Happening? You beat me. Like, I don't we, like you and this. I can go in the ring, Mike, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going to go, if love means war, then baby, I surrender, and I'm going to lay right down on the mat. That's it. Just like that. I'm going to get that tattooed on my I'm tramp I'm done. Stamp. No, like, nice. Nice tell- needs to... Joy, seriously, aren't you, aren't you bothered watching that? No. No, I'm not. Joy knows he's thing. out at one, and he doesn't give a shit. I would have said the same thing. Two and out the door. Why but I, w- I wouldn't. I would not have done that if Kennedy gave it to me. If Kennedy, if my base would have gave it to me, isn't I that sad? Now, if Fish would have brought it to me, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sawyer's on my payroll. I think Sawyer's the only thing I'd accept yeah. something from. Oh, now Sawyer's your new best friend. Oh, because of, I pay Sawyer yeah. not to beat me. Speaking of accepting, Nick Saban accepted an eight point four million dollar oh. base salary career. I, you saw that layup. <laughs> No, he signed a new extension that's going to hold him until he's 77 years old with a base salary of 8.4 a year with a signing bonus of 800,000 as soon as he signed. That is crazy. He's getting NFL money. Why would you want to go to the NFL? Why would you want to go to the NFL making that type of money in college? I don't Um, see it. Legend. Freaking legend. 170 and 23 record. I don't think he coaches until he's 77. That's healthy. I don't. Health. I, don't, I don't think he coaches until he's 77. It's, it's healthy. I mean, because people don't understand how stressful being a coach is at any level, especially at a level where you've been ranked number one at least one of the weeks for 13 years, for 13 seasons consecutively. That is amazing. Best college coach in college football, maybe in history of, of any sport. And he's amazing. Um, do I think he coaches to 77? I mean, it depends on his health. It doesn't happen too often. 21-2 um, and two against teams um, that are ranked in the top 10 year in, year out. Uh, Nick Saban is a coach that I would have loved to play for when I was in college. But I had a great coach here in, in, in Paul Winters who fed me the rock 50 times a game. Do you know um – Joy, you bring up such an interesting point because um, what point? There are two coaches that come to mind. Why on earth would Steve Spurrier leave the Florida Gators? Why would he do that? He had a machine down there. He was a Florida Gator. He won a Heisman Trophy at Florida. Why on earth would Steve Spurrier say, "I'm out of here"? He had it made. He was making millions and millions and millions of dollars. Why on earth would Nick Saban leave the college ranks after all the success he had and all the money he was making at his previous stop at, at LSU? And, and you know what the reason is? And you know it better than anybody. Ego. That's why it is. Ego. They need to feed their ego. Every coach, every coach thinks that they're the man. They're not in the position that they're in without thinking that way, period. They aren't. You, you aren't a head coach without thinking, I'm smarter than the guy across the field from me. You can't be. Or if you are, you're not going to be in it longer. They have ego. And, and that's why, guys, Spurrier's the one to me. Why would Steve Spurrier leave Florida? Why? You know why? Because he wanted to go see if he could dominate the NFL like he dominated college football. And he failed miserably. Why would Nick Saban leave LSU? I mean, it was a, it was a perfect spot for him. He, I mean, he could have ran for governor of Louisiana, right? Ego. Mm. Now, I don't think at this point in time, with Nick Saban being 69 years old, anybody's going to offer him an NFL job. I mm. could be wrong, and I don't think, I think he knows that that ship sailed, that, that he's a college coach and he's okay with that. Mm. But I think that's the long-winded way to answer your question, Joyke. Why would these guys leave seemingly perfect spots? Yeah. Feed their ego. I can do that. I can. 
Are you kidding me? I can do so that. So are you comparing it to like a, a, a NFL player leaving a team um, through contract negotiations to go to another team? Are no, you, are, well, no, because a lot of times that's for that's for monetary reasons. You know, I mean, that that's, you know, Joyke, if you have an opportunity to go make money, more money elsewhere, I'll be the first guy to shake your hand. Congratulations, okay. dude. That's awesome. Okay. Like, I mean, that's, I mean, as a human being, that's the way that I feel. If, if somebody, that's why, like, I've never, I don't know the circumstances in anybody's life. I, you have never, not one time in my career, have I ever got pissed at a guy leaving here. Never. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. You're making, you're making that decision well, for you. The best of luck to you. Well, you were pissed when Blake left and he saw playing well with the Nets. I, no, I was pissed because the Pistons didn't get anything from him. I don't, I don't. He had to get out of here. There's no reason yeah. for him to be here. He's not okay. part of the rebuild. Okay. I'm not pissed at him personally. I'm, I'm pissed that he dogged it. Yeah. But go do what's best for you. And he clearly dogged it. You know, let's, let's you know who's honest. not dogging it? Who? Dame. Dame is not dogging it. There's a good segue. Yeah. <laughs> so, Dame is not dogging it. Said he asked for a trade. Said he stayed there. Said he stayed put. Said he weathered the storm. Stay tuned, Wilbur Sports. Bridge Street Exchange, downtown Fenton. I'm trying to find me a shirt. Ooh, look at these swimming shorts. What are you doing over there, Stick? I'm trying to find me a drink. Uh, ooh, look at these bonfire bitters. Ready for summer. Let's go. You don't fumble the ball at work. Hey, Drug Bell, Sean Belizean. See you guys next weekend. Hmm. Thanks, Mike. Poor Bell sold white to a come to New Zealand. For that ale. <laughs> 1250, huh, Art? <laughs> Can I finish it? Like, listen, Art, I, I prep at night. Sometimes I take phone calls at night from coworkers while the game is on. And while the game is on, the opposition scores two goals while I'm on the phone. And then no goals while I'm not on the phone. Coincidence? I think not. This is why people don't like nice things being done because like with you right now, you took a phone call from someone in here, not gonna say a name, Kennedy, and that's the thing is now you're using it against her. So you're gonna buy us lunch today no, and then you're gonna be I'm like- doing, no, Do you know what I'm doing? <sighs> I am telling you, I'm a nice human being. You are. Even during my moment of, of ooh, panic strickenness, I took a phone call from somebody in need, mm -hmm. and how did that how did that work out for me? That is true. You make the opposition that. scored two freaking goals hold on, hold on. while I was on the phone. So they here's my you? thing: if, if somebody in this room, call me. if somebody you buy room. lunch for us, right, and then you're driving and another old lady swipes your car, you're gonna blame us. You're gonna say it was because I bought you guys lunch. What's the deal with the lunches? No, you that's know? not true. <laughs> That's, I'm doing it out of the goodness of my heart. There you go. You know, I'm going to saw a call on Artemis' just soda bottle. There, there, we, soda pop. Art, that was a, that was a teachable moment for me last night. Uh, I'm still learning. The, <laughs> yeah, the, now the, you're the, not taking work calls. I'm again. never taking a work call during the game, ever again. <laughs> I, I, you're, sorry. It, it, you, I'm know what, what, you know what's messed up texts. about this? You know what's messed up about this? Because I've called Sean many times while he was watching. He never answers the phone for me. So you used to feel special. Sean, do you ever answer the phone? When she you call, well, if you called during the game, in fairness to her, she called like at, in the intermission. But we were on the phone for a while, and, and then all of a sudden I went, gosh damn it, they just scored. <laughs> okay. And then a couple of minutes later, it was, gosh damn it, they just scored again. And then I was like, well, I'm already invested in this call, and I'm, I'm helping somebody out that I like. At least I hope I did. And, and you know what? I, being a human being is greater than me watching my team. Aww. And that's what I told my friend last night. Because she, she, she apologized and I said, I'm sorry, there are some things that are more important in life. Being a human being is more important in life. It Sean, is. Sean, you have a good heart. I don't know about that. In the mean street. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna What's up, Fish? I, I was going to ask if you said anything on the phone when the Jets scored. Did, did you say anything to Kennedy when I, the no, Jets swore. scored? I did. That's, I did. that's a question. Did that's I did that's swear. A question. But I, didn't, yeah. I didn't swear at her. But that's the yeah, question. Kenny, that's something we'll Kenny, what did I say? You're, you're more than. Yeah, Ken, Kenny, that's something we've done before. Yeah, we go. Yeah, we're going to move. Later. Oh, yeah. Why, well, Kennedy, we've done some. God. Yeah, Kennedy. No, I'm fine. It was something like Kennedy can tell you. Score. 
Oh, no, I'm good, Kenny. I'm all good. We're good. We're fine. Okay. All right. I'll see myself out. No, see Kenny, yourself. what did you... No, Kenny, go ahead. What What did I say? Just... Because I, I know what I said. I know the it first... Was, it was... Yeah, the first one was definitely, gosh damn it, they just scored. And I was like, <laughs> on the other line. And then, yeah, it was probably like five minutes after... You're like, fuck, they did it again. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> and I was just like, I'm so sorry to be bothering you. But I was going through it last night. I'll tell you guys. I'll be honest. It was not a good night for me. You know what night? the biggest difference is? What do you do is, when, is when you call, or when Sean calls you or you call Sean. It's, hey, what's up, buddy? When Joy calls you or you call Joy, it's, what do you want, Art? <laughs> it's, never, it's never, how are you, Art? It's, what do you want, Art? I'm busy. And I'm like, oh, what are you doing? That's Nothing. So weird, what do you mean? Hey, well, <laughs> to jo- to Joyke's point, he has called during the game multiple times, but there's never been a time where I didn't call back. I'm just not Aww. on Joyke time. You know, at that that oh, in that moment, in that moment, it's my time. I'll call back, but in that moment, no, I'm not. I I can't. Sometimes I can't. The one time a few weeks ago that you called, I was literally at my daughter's play, I, and I, I was I like, "You guys are watching the game." Hey, dude, no, the one the one time, remember, I, was, I go, "I'm at my daughter's play." Another okay. time, I was watching the game with okay. my daughter, but yeah, there. But did but he there, respect there was, that? There was one time, Joyke and I stayed on the phone for an hour once, like back in February during a game because I was down the basement, and we stayed we stayed on the hour on the phone. But one time, I was with my daughter, and we were watching a game, and the other time, I was at my daughter's play, and I was like, "Dude." Do you want me to call you back? And then you never answered me, so that's why I didn't call you back. He was mad because you put your daughter in front of him. How dare you? <laughs> what? I feel like I get answered because I rarely call. Like, I feel like you knew if I'm calling you, then something's that actually That was exactly up. my sentiment. Like, yeah. I, I, honest to God, you know how sometimes... That's true. Why is Kennedy calling me? And I, like, honestly, I knew... I hope you take this in the right con... I knew there was nothing good like yeah. out of that phone call yeah does that make sense yeah that makes sense and it wasn't <laughs> the bearer of bad news here is me. no i'm not like, and i'm not i'm not blowing it wasn't bad but it was you know it was a hey, quandary yeah. And yeah i hope i helped you you did all right good. i felt better once i got off the phone with you so. can i tell you something and i told i told her this last night all right so this business that i chose art you're going to shake your head in about five seconds four three two this business sucks he, see, he shook his head. Well, this 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 <laughs> this business this business that we've chosen, mm. it sucks. It does. Now, I want you to take that in this context. I love my job. I love. I, I don't work for a living, but there are so many um, minefields in this business that when I was Kennedy's age, I wish that I had somebody older in this business to tell me how to avoid some of the minefields. And so that's one thing that I promised to myself when I was a kid. I said, when I'm older, which I am now, I I like to help kids out because nobody helps kids out. They just go like this to kids. You're just a kid. Mm. Learn it. And and I I, I, I think it's, I think, I, I think more people in our business, I think it's horseshit. And I think more people in our business need to help and mentor some young people in our business Take because it's, it's you you make you do dumb things when you're young get because you don't know the business you, you think you know but you don't know the business so you do dumb things when you're young and you make dumb decisions when you're young and i did dumb things when i was young and i made dumb decisions when i was young and I, you know i wish i could have avoided them but you didn't and you learned from it so now there's power with learning in so I've always promised myself if a young person ever wants to ask me about this business, I'm going to give them my time. And that's just one thing that I do, and I'm not trying to pat myself on the back. But So, yeah, when Kennedy called, I knew – I had a feeling I knew what it was. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't know exactly what it was. Does that make sense? I'm not airing your laundry no, no way, no how. No, I don't care. So, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it was, it was a conversation that I wish – Somebody had with you. I, I wish I wish I had that conversation when I was a kid, you know, because you you need to be told everything's going to be okay. It might not be okay in six months. It not might not be okay in a month. It might not be okay in six years. But if you stick to it and you control what you can control, high art. Some has to give. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's you're going to be okay because you know what? It's it's what's here. If mm-hmm. if if you work if you keep working towards your goal, you're going to get there. Yeah. If an idiot like me can do it, anybody can. Right? Sorry. What's up, Art? 
No, I just I thought it was beautiful. I think if you work hard enough, uh, maybe one day you'll get a Tesla. That's you know, that's kind of what, what, you know what I though, want in life. You know what though? What's funny is that w Sean has that um, he has that coach Caldwell demeanor where he talks to you. You kind of just like, oh. yeah, you just kind of listen. Coach Seanwell. Yeah, Coach Seanwell. <laughs> yeah, it's not good enough. It is not good enough here. <laughs> Anyway, I, I'm still trying to get to that point where I get a Tesla. Are you kidding me? I'm not at that point. You oh, just bought two cars in one day. What are you right. talking about? Oh, I did yeah. get two cars in two one day. Two cars in one I day. Did. Stop yeah, it. I did. And then when we come back, we want to talk about if Dame should be traded or if he should, or if he should stay. Stay tuned. Sean Belize and Drake Bell, what was sports? Tony is a third generation logger that has a simple, practical approach to life and work. That's why his Coast DX342 knife is perfect for him. The stainless steel blade is rust resistant and made for all weather use. And the double roll lock safety ensures that it will never inadvertently close when he doesn't want it to. That's why Coast is trusted tough. I am not dropping this, okay? I promise we'll get to the topic at hand in a second, all right? Yeah. I feel like Scrooge right now. I really do. You ever watch Christmas Carol? I woke up, it's Christmas morning, and I'm like, what have I been doing? I know, but Sean, you don't understand that if I leave this booth to go order lunch for people, my head is on a, sh on a stick. I want, okay, one, two, three, four, five people. I'm buying your lunch today. Let me, buy your, you. let me buy your lunch today. You, you said know, all the Lady Jane's employees, everyone from no, Birmingham I'm not Rose doing too. That. No, no, no. Scrooge has his limitations. <laughs> But, like, I'm going to send Tiny Tim down the hall. <laughs> Mikey TikTok? Mikey, I'll buy for Mikey TikTok. He's my friend. I'm saying it publicly. Mikey TikTok, you are my friend. I <laughs> like you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's wrong, Sean? What's wrong with that? So how about Dane? Should he get traded? <laughs> All right. So what do you think, Troy? Do I think he should get traded? No. I think they should get better players in. Um... I think he had a quote saying something about if we uh, if we can't win or we're not at a championship level when we can't beat a team and I'm paraphrasing uh, a team that doesn't have their best two um, two and three best players out of four on the court and do I think he should be leaving like I don't think he should leave um, I know he wants to bring that city a championship he loves Portland. And at this point, I don't even think it's his issue. I think it's more so getting the right players in around him. Like, he, he doesn't have that good, good of a supporting cast. He has a good supporting cast, but he needs more guys that can come in and, and, and kind of help him out and take that load off of him, having to come in and be the guy every single game. Like, every single game. He needs more help. Like, I mean, you have Carmelo. He's going to come. He's going to give you a few points here and there, but... We need more guys. It's interesting because I want to, I, by the way, I want to talk about this because I, I've said one thing about a, a malcontent and a, and a discontented person, but I don't think what he said crosses the line. I'll get to that in a second. I just wanted to publicly say to my friend, Mikey TikTok, can I buy you lunch today? Yes, Sean. Go pick whatever you want from that place and I'm buying. I appreciate you. Okay. Thank and you. if you want to take everybody else's order in the room, <laughs> I'll buy for them too, okay? You're a very generous man, Sean. Thank you. I can still kick but, your ass. Isn't that easy? There's, there's no hook. There's no... Listen, and, and, and Mike, like you it. win the fight. You win the fight. I, uh, oh, I, no. I, Mike wins. I'm no. Not, no, I'm being nicer to people. No, you know what? I'll pick up the battle. I'll take okay. Mikey on. All right. Mikey, I'm, go get me my damn life. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. I can't no see you over the go booth. Get, go get him his gluten-free um, <laughs> chicken <laughs> panini. Go get him his gluten-free chicken panini before you guys fight. Cause Gluten-free, dairy-free. Do you have any allergies? Hey. Actually, no, are you allergic to cotton? What should I wear? <laughs> Mike, if, if, if it's not too, troubled, too much trouble to ask while you're getting hey, lunch for yourself, all right, all right. if you could get an order for Mikey. Fish and Kennedy He's and Sawyer and Art and Joy, his face swollen. that would help me out. So I can buy for everybody, okay? Gotcha, Mike, did you hear what Art said? No. He said you're allergic to these hands because it's going to leave your face swollen. You're That's allergic what he to said. these nuts. 
Oh, good one. Good Better one. comebacks. Please, friends, isn't there something that we good can one. do to resolve this conflict? <laughs> hey, uh, hey this yes, plan. Mr. Hey, Sean, move, I, will, move some I will get you whatever you want, Mr. Sean. <laughs> Let's, let's move some fun. Let's... See, this is why, though, because we don't know what's a joke and what's serious around here, and hurt people hurt people. So, Mike, who hurt you? Mike, can we I buy you. you lunch? That yeah. is not a joke. Yeah. I'm being sincere. I want to buy you and everybody in this room Thank lunch. Thank you, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's got to be before one, so get the hell over there and order his day. I'm not <laughs> getting anything for me. This is all for you guys. Yeah. I'll this isn't there. about me. Well, it is about me. I, I got to feel better about me. <laughs> it is about me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like a Thank bad you. human being. After Thank watching Kennedy's Thanks video, I honest. feel like a bad human being. I'm part of honest. the problem here at Woodward Sports. I am. I'm part of the problem. Hey, did you tell Mikey the part where he has to pay for it, too? You're just having him over the Mike, <laughs> that is what Art is saying is not truthful. You can take this money. Yep. I would ask kindly to bring me the change back. Don't sorry. do it. And you can order whatever you want for you for, for you and your, your coworkers. I can't say friends because nobody's a friend here. It's sad. You know what's that? I don't have a problem with what Dame said. No, not at all. I don't. I, I, there, there's, to me, there's a difference. If, if, if a guy comes out publicly and says, get me the hell out of here, then I'm the type of general manager, I'm going to say to him, okay, listen, I'm going to do my best to accommodate. Uh, give, give you your to option. To your <laughs> McCarty came running in, too. What is going on? Um, we'll get to that in just a second, but Darren McCarty wants to speak as well. Hi, Darren. Did somebody call HR? <laughs> is there an issue here? Um, I'm our not, our I'm, HR I'm director, Darren McCarty. Maybe some of the um, less experienced, youthful kids. Michael, so he's got Michael social media acting up again. No, you know what? I want to buy everybody lunch today because I, I, I feel bad because everybody thinks we're always playing jokes and being mean to each other. Yeah. So I want to do something out of the kindness of my heart. I hope that's okay, okay with you. Okay. Mikey, you get that tap water in the bathroom. <laughs> okay. I'm and the you toilet. Get everybody else, the rest, Sean, thank you for confirming. I just wanted the light went off in the HR department. I want you to know we're serious around here. Woodwards. Hey, joint belt rights a tough ship. Run the tight ship. Run the tight ship. We know it. Right. Love D-Mac. Check them out on the hook uh, um, this afternoon with Pilar and Maz. They're having fun every day. Yeah. Uh, good good stuff. No, yeah. Joy, honestly, if you came to me, if I was your general manager and you came to me, I said, I want out of here. I'd say, Joy, I'm going to do everything I can to accommodate your your request. I, I don't right. want guys that don't want to be here. I, like, I'm a firm believer in that. Yeah. So, um, but... Joy, you need to know I'm not going to do it to the detriment of my club. I'm either going to get fair market value for, for you or but you're going to stay here. But he's not asking the lady. And that's exactly it. That's why I don't have a problem with yeah. what Dame said. Yeah. And As I, a general and, and, manager, and, and, then and I even, go, I got to do a better job. But also with him, he didn't put on his teammates. He put himself in that, he put himself in that as well by saying that. I got no issue with what he said. Not at all. None. Zero. Good for I mean, we all want to win, right? I mean, what, why, why are we? Everybody wants to win. You, you want your team to win. You want to win where you work. All of that stuff. And um, yeah, it is frustrating. We've all been in positions before where, you know, um, unfortunately, you don't have the resources to to do that. And um, I think of a job that I had many years ago where it was just like. You, you, you know yeah. what are we doing? We we could be so much better than we are. Yeah. It's but just we're he's not. in his prime now. He's playing some of the best basketball of That's his career. That's frustrating. And, and, and how long? All right. Is it going to be until he's out of his prime? Uh, what's up, Art? There's a short clip of uh, Dame asking LeBron to make a call uh, that he did on his Instagram live. We'll play that right now. LeBron, what's happening? Hey, bro, make that call, bro. Tell him, tell him they need to make a decision, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta make it. You know what's hilarious? Can you, can you imagine? Dang, going to the Lakers. Can you? That's what the Lakers do. Like we talked about yesterday. If you're the Clippers, it's gotta suck so badly because you just know the Lakers are gonna get guys because they're the Lakers. And then hold on, there will be, that will be the 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 Brooklyn Nets if they was if they were to get Dame. They were to get Dame. And say an AD goes now, LeBron doesn't have to do everything himself. He still has another killer out there. James Harden goes down, they still got Kyrie, and they still got KD, and they have Blake coming off the bench. When AD goes down, who's going to replace him? 
Who's gonna, who's gonna step up and, and, and Andre Drummond? That's not his game. Who's gonna step? What's up? Hey, Sean. I I, I know this is a sports network, but we've got an issue. Uh, everyone in here has gladly accepted your lunch invite for you to buy, except for Fish. He said he wants nothing. It's called generosity. You people don't understand generosity. Well, you guys better order because this deal expires in uh, 15, 15 minutes, minutes, okay? So you, you better get on it right now. Fish, Fish came over my house and didn't even have any of my food. He Are just you came serious? Over, he came over my house just to come over my house. I, I'm going to tell you no, right no, now. No, it's no, no, not no, disrespectful. No, 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 no. That's right not there. respect. So you know what's funny? So when I learned about different cultures, when you go to someone's house, and they offer you food and you don't accept it, they take that as disrespect. Absolutely. I didn't. No, 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 no. I'm just, some people, they take that I've as disrespect. I've heard that, but Fish, now, I didn't. You and your father, I was, I was just glad that you drove out to say hello and your dad introduced himself. Your dad's a great dude. And I, I was very happy that you came over. And I did. I said, hey, some of the ribs are going to be ready in a couple minutes because we layer it. And they were like, no, no, thanks. We're fine. And I was like, Cool. Who goes to Sean's house and doesn't eat meat? Me? Who does that? Do you not eat meat in general? Or you just uh, you didn't want to eat at Sean's house because his food's nasty. No, I I think his food's good. I just don't how you know eat. it's good? If you never I, had I it. actually have a history of not eating at parties because I just don't <laughs> eat at parties. I'd rather enjoy the people's company. That's actually me. Like my parents forced me to eat at parties because I just don't eat at parties. I'd rather mingle with whoever's at the party. Like if, like, if people say, hey, we're having a party tonight, all right, got to eat before because I'm not going to eat at the party. God bless you, Fish. I feel you. You are, you are, a, you are a great man, well, Fish. This or is what, if so, I do eat, it'll take me seven years to eat. So, so this is what you do, all right? I'm, I'm going to give you a cop out. So when, when you go there and they offer you food, oh, I just ate. I don't want to eat right now, but hey, can I take a to-go plate home with me? And so then, boom, you take the to-go plate with you. So now they don't feel insulted, and you don't have to eat. You can just take it home with you. I learned that. That's brilliant. Mikey TikTok, yeah. did I give you a to-go uh, box? Did, did, did I send you home with a lot of food? Because uh, I don't remember how late you were over my... Some of the guys that were there late, like, I, I literally gave... You did with like, me. You did with me. I get, Yeah, it, but, like, the big barbecue that we had in April, I had so much left over. Like, I, I just said, here, here's... Like here's a rack of ribs and here's 50 wings and everything. And yeah. Like one dude like actually sent me a picture like five days later. He goes, I want you to know I'm finishing your wings now. I was like, cool. I'm glad it could last for you. That's just, did yeah. you take anything home? I, I had a little bit, I had a bigger plate. And so I had some leftovers I didn't want to waste. So I just took the little bit that I had left over with me, but I left a little earlier into the day. Um, okay. I don't remember when you left. No, so. that was, that was an awesome. That was awesome Good, food though, man. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate By the way, there is a smoke show tomorrow. Uh, Dave Hubbard recipes. said he's coming in, and he said he's got a few surprises. So I don't even know what the it surprises are. Better be chicken are. wings. Dave's surprises are good <laughs> surprises. Yeah. Trust me. Uh, Dave, says, yeah, uh, Dave, 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 Dave is coming Dave in Dave is tomorrow. coming in tomorrow, uh, and he's got surprises. Oh, when excited. Dave says he has surprises. You know how sometimes somebody says, I have a surprise for you, and then they bring it, and you go, uh, uh, not no, Dave. Not Dave. Dave brings good surprises. I'm excited. Uh, by the way, my offer expires in 12 minutes. Right, we See, need the money. You guys, you guys better go order something right now because I look. One oh one, my ass is out of here. Here, go go get there whatever you, you want. But all right. But before you get a hundred dollars, let's go to break. What was sports? We are here, downtown Fenton, my favorite Bridge Street Exchange. That's right, and uh, you want to switch up your wardrobe this summer? It's this easy. You ready, Joey? I'm ready. All right, you ready? I like it. You want to do it again? Yeah, let's do it again. All right. Ooh, Brixton. Nice. One more time? Yes. Ooh, I like the hat on this one, too. You ready to do it one more time, Joey? I'm getting tired. One last one. All right, let's change it. <laughs> Bro, where's your shirt? You need new clothes this summer. Bridge Street Exchange in Fenton. That's where you need to go. Thank you, guys. You ever do something where, like, not right away, but maybe 15 seconds later you have regret? I, I, have, I have great regret right now that I bought Art lunch. That ingrate. Because we're, we're about to talk about running backs, and, and they asked the question, since Barry Sanders, who is your favorite Lions running back? And so Art, being Art, says, 
Well, you know, we have we have video for most of these guys, I except for Sims, because they didn't have cameras when he played. But Sims is after Barry, so that was just a Before jab. Barry. Yeah, it was before Barry. Billy was when I was good. I loved Billy Sims. Hey, yeah. my day. Billy Sims, <laughs> see? Billy Sims is, like, completely disrespected in this town as far as I'm concerned. You think like, so? Yes, I do. Because it, people like Art, these kids like Art have no freaking idea how good Billy was. None. Oh, yeah. Barry, Billy. Barry, Billy. That's where it was. And then everybody else. Thanks a lot, Sean. Um, so, um, this, is, this is Billy Sims right here. The original, second to none. Gosh, he was so much fun. He was awesome. And I, I've he makes good that. barbecue, too. Are they open? Are they back No, unfortunately, open there's none around here anymore. Billy, get on that, please. I miss your oaky toast. toast. Anyway, um, somebody oh. said, would Sean pick Joik? I'm a fan of Joik, obviously. Not his uh, favorite. Um, Who would be your favorite? The whole what might have been with Javid. Mm. The whole what might have been with Javid. It just, I, it, it sucks. Yeah. You don't want to see that happen to anybody. Yeah. This guy's pretty good, though. Yeah. He's all right. Yeah. That's a great flicking yeah. run, man. What a great run. I the, saw that a few times when you were in college. The first go-ahead touchdown in the fourth quarter since I can't tell you how long was I found out after the game. Um, we were down by a touchdown, and that put us ahead. So I think that's the first go-ahead run touchdown we've had, which is up to that point probably since – I don't know, probably Kevin Jones, I think, or maybe before him. He's another one. KJ. KJ. Yeah. KJ had that, um, he had the eye of the tiger when he played. That was my son's first jersey. Seriously? I said, yeah, I, I bought him, I, I bought him like when he was like five years old. Yeah. I said, who do you want a jersey of? And he was like, Kevin Jones. And I got him a Kevin Jones jersey and then he blew his knee out. And I have over. a Kevin Jones story I want to tell you about after. <laughs> I got to tell you on break. We can't talk about it during, <laughs> during the show. But KJ, I remember when I worked for the Lions and I work at the team hotel uh, during that training camp, that he would stop and talk to me. He'll sit down on the steps and we'll start talking. Then other players would come in and have a seat and start chopping it up with us. We'd sit down, we just talk. And I thought that was pretty cool. I was, uh, I was a true freshman too, so I, I wasn't, I didn't play a season yet. And I thought it was pretty cool, like guys like him, good Charles dude. Rogers, Sean Rogers, sit down and just kind of chop it up with me. It was great, it was good. Francis said, Billy Sims Karate Kid, look it up, yeah. You kids out there, get yourself a lesson. Go look up Billy Sims' karate kick. See yeah. what kind of running back he was. Yes, sir. I'm what is the uh, – because I have a fascination with the guy, too, but I also know that he wasn't the best performer. But Zenner. Like, Zenner was a fan favorite of the Lions, and we actually have a clip of, of you know, the 92 total yards, the two touchdowns. Um, to me, he was a fan favorite, and we got rid of him. Like, I know he wasn't the best performer, but, I mean, look at this. Like, you need, like, that guy who's, like, a fan favorite, and the Lions are like, nope, see you later. So what, this, is what, this is what I really liked about Zach Zinner when he came in. Came in as a, as a young RBI with him his rookie year for the first two or three, uh, two or three of his first seasons. Zach Zinner wasn't running back. He, he wasn't going to get anything special, but you knew he was going to get a hard run every single time. He was going right. to fall for it. Uh, he was going to secure the ball, and he was very smart. He was going to school to be a doctor. Come on, he was very smart. So he made, he made very minimal um, mental mistakes on the field. I think Detroit has a fascination with guys like that. Mm -hmm. I, I've always felt this way. Like Don Kelly in baseball. People love Don Kelly. Okay. So you don't, you don't get the appeal with Zenner? You don't get it? No, I do get the appeal, but I think it goes back to the exact same thing. I think what people like me get angry at, okay, Joyke Bell or Zach Zenner? Well, yeah. 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 I'm going to take Joyke Bell every time. Yeah. But what people do in this town is they elevate guys like that and think that there's something special. And there's a reason why Zach Zenner didn't go someplace else and become the star that so many people thought he was going to be. Well, I feel like there's a reason why Don Kelly didn't go someplace else and become the star that people like. They, and so that's that's a, it's a Detroit thing. I'm convinced of it. But people kind of turn these guys into like superheroes the demigods and yeah and Z zach zenner became like a superhero and yeah. people oh we, we need to get the ball to zach zenner more no we don't <laughs> need to get the ball to zach zenner more we really truly don't 
I'm gonna tell you, I'm. But this is why the, the coaches love him because they knew what they were gonna get that's out of exactly him every time. It. They knew that, what they were gonna a, get out of him. And I don't want you or anybody no, else. To no, no, There's no. a role for a guy like that, I'm but saying, special he's teams merely a role player. And and people have a tendency to turn those types of players into superstars. And like I, I get, oh, the Lions are really gonna regret losing Zach Zenner. Zach Zenner wasn't in the league. There's a reason he's not in the league. Like, knock it off. If you can play, you're going to go get a job, and you're going to yeah. have an opportunity to go do play. something. No, Zach Zenner could play. He, he could play. I'm he's a say, doctor I, I, now. I, he's a doctor now. He can't play! He could play. He could play. Now, is he the player that everybody thought he was? Probably not, but he was a good player. He was a good player to have on your roster. I a like nice that. role player. Um, even, Let, here, can I put it to you this way? Even Washington. You know what? Can I put it to you this way? Yeah. Zach Zenners of the world are a dime a dozen. You can you could go to you could go to any college and pick up a Zach Zenner. No, okay. I'm not gonna argue. I'm not the Joy Bells of the world, the Billy Sims of the world, the Barry Sanders of the world, they are not a dime a dozen. Sorry, that's the truth. What's up, Art? Before, because we're, we're running on time right now, did you see Dan Campbell's statement on, on the whole Yeah, helmet? Corey got this. I want, I want to see this. Yeah, May we'll I see this? Yeah, let's go ahead and play that. Corey Woods, first question. Hey, Dan, um, over the past couple of weeks, you know, from the comment about the kneecaps in your introductory press conference last week, wearing the helmet to talk about the Grand Prix, which I thought was pretty cool, you've caught your fair share of criticism from the media. What do you think that is that some media members are missing about the way you're trying to connect with the city? Yeah, I don't, I mean, you know, I'm honestly, I'm not worried about it. Um, I mean, I get it there again, my, my whole thing, it was, it was kind of a joke. I mean, it was the helmet was sitting here. And so, but it was also like, Hey man, it's the Detroit Grand Prix. I mean, I think that'd be a pretty cool deal for, for our people, our fans to see that. And, uh, and I think if I'm associated with the Grand Prix, it's like, Hey man, that's pretty cool. And, uh, so that's really as far as it went. I'm not worried about the criticism. Look, I'm going to get criticized either way. That's what you guys do and everybody outside of this world, you know, and ultimately I'm going to be judged on wins and losses. And so um, that's just there again. I, I was just kind of keeping it light. Look, those things aren't going to happen during the season. I mean, I'm not. But right now I'm just kind of being me. I'm having a good time with it. And uh, so I hope that answers it, Corey. Uh, he even said Corey name. Look at that. That's pretty cool. He even like, said Corey that Corey's big time Just now. Light, lighten up. Like, I'm going to say it again. I know what's going to happen when, when the Lions struggle this year, and they will. Some of the same people that love that stuff are going to turn on him and go, What you do, Randy Hume? I thought the Lions were going 11 and 6 this year. We need a new coach. And it's just like, Dude, ah. Like, just lighten up, Francis. All right? Lighten up. I, I hope people who. Who have those notions will watch like will watch this show, will watch the Lions, the press conferences, the 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 way that the GM and the head coaches are speaking of the team. They know they're not gonna be a, a contender this year. They know that. But give us time. we hear from far too many that get mad at us. They always you get mad at us. It. You know this what? This team's got Hate it. Get out of here. And you, know, you, know, why you, know, you, you wouldn't accept my, my generosity. I wanted to buy you something, too. You didn't want anything? Yeah, I said soup, but I don't have it. Oh. I don't have it. Can I buy you soup? I, I'll let you give me All soup. Right, let me, I want to buy you I'll soup. Get you some, I'll let you give me some this soup. This might be my, uh, Kennedy, this might be my Tuesday. What can I buy you guys on Tuesdays? No, not every Tuesday. We'll swap it out. You no, do one Tuesday, I, I do, do one. You do one Tuesday. I, I, feel, I feel really badly about watching that video. We can, you we can. think I'm just, you guys, they're laughing like I'm not being sincere. Would you guys, no, like, you me bring, would you guys like me to bring in some Krispy Kreme oh. donuts? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, you know what people are really going to hate? When we have to say see you tomorrow, it's been a great show. We got to get out of here. Aww. Thanks for tapping into the Belize in the Bell show. Sean Belize and Joy Bell, Kennedy Broadwell, Fish in the Aquarium, Artemis Smith. You're the best, the Sean. Booth. And then also Sawyer going through training. Stay tuned. See you tomorrow. Gang, gang.